Cameras are off. Hopefully you can hear us really clearly though. Oh, there we go. All right, great. So, quick technical glitch there. Sorry about that, but welcome here. My name is Nicholas, as I said before, and I've got with me in the studio today. Tack, because I'm the only other person here to have played Imperialis. Uh, with you so far, but it is a fun game. Yeah, we played a little bit of Imperial Isles today. Uh, we played uh, another live game for our membership, and we mm -hmm. also, earlier t earlier this week, we played a game that we're going to be doing, a uh, fully edited version that's going to come out as soon as we can. Right. As soon as it's finished editing. Yeah. It was uh, a 13 hour stream. It was a 13, 13 hour well, stream. Uh, film, filming session. It was a 13 hour day, 10 hours of footage <laughs> across six cameras, so uh, it's going to be an epic edit. Yeah. Uh, but we are here today because we love playing with toy soldiers and we get to play with toy toy soldiers, like really yeah. small toy soldiers. Yeah. Um, but it is, it, it's a, it is a pretty fun game. For those of you who don't know, Imperial Alice is basically small scale, uh, 40k, 30k, you've got your Lehman Russes, you've got your Space Marines, you've got your, your Titans, but basically it's uh, a miniaturized game. It's recently come out, you can pre-order it now from Games Workshop. Games Workshop was nice enough to send us an advanced copy, so we've been able to play some games with it. Mm -hmm. We are playing uh, roughly about a thousand points aside. Okay. This is almost the equivalent of what you find in the box set. We threw in a few extra stuff that we had, like some rhinos, bane blades, kratoses that aren't in the original box set, but we wanted to put them in anyways. Um, Cause it's a lot of fun. I'm playing the Solar Auxilia, basically the Imperial Guard of the old 30k world, mm -hmm. and I have a whole bunch of tanks and infantry and stuff like that. It's gonna be great. And you are playing? I'm playing the Blood Angels uh, with a Titan, but you have a Titan as well. Yes, we both have Warhound Titans because Titans are cool. You can get even big, massive, uh, iconoclast Titans that are literally like this big. They're almost oh. the size of like an Imperial Knight on the 40k channel. Yeah, it is. It is intense. And I think my favorite part about playing this game so far has just been, look at how amazing this set looks. Ah, it's so immersive. Its scale is cool. And if you look down here, it just looks awesome. Yeah. Um, and so hopefully if this goes well for us, uh, we've got plans for the future uh, to maybe even recreate some of the uh, iconic oh, battles yeah. uh, that we've read in the Horse Heresy books. I would love to put like massive wings of Titans versus fleets of tanks. That's kind of what you could do with this. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. If you've never watched one of our live streams before, this is where we can have fun, hang out with you. We encourage you to chat in the chat there. If you tap, type at Play on Tabletop, we will see it. We have the chat in front of us. We will talk with you. If you're watching after the fact, you're welcome to watch this with us, of course, too, and we're glad you're here. Um, but, but this is not our highly edited content. Yeah. Uh, but we do have, again, we've shot one, took uh, 13 hours to do it. It is being edited, but there will be an edited version of Imperialis coming out on the channel in the future. Although I'm really honored that Adaros uh, says, is this another live game? And he wasn't able to tell. Because if he wasn't able to tell, then that means we're like really, really close. <laughs> we are. We, uh, we've uh, implemented a new system. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't had our first one yet, but it's something called a creative breakfast. And that's when we're all gonna sit down over breakfast and brainstorm <laughs> about the future of our shows. Uh, so any feedback that anyone wants to give us, uh, again, please at Play on Tabletop. We'd love to hear it as we have big plans for 2024. And Broken God, hope they make tiny Primarchs. That would actually be kind of cool. That'd be really, really cool. Yeah. Like, so for instance, this is a base of five miniatures. This is five solar auxiliary. This is my command squad. And you can see the commander. He's right here. He's, he's super, where's the Wolverine? It's right there. He's super tiny. Here, do the side camera. Side camera? Yeah. yeah. He's super tiny. Super tiny. John oh. the Cardinal, thank you so much. You gifted 20 memberships. That's amazing. Uh, um, so for members, we do have ex very uh, awesome exclusive content as uh, we have an ongoing campaign right now. Yeah. We do have a live stream of Imperialis that we did on Wednesday that was for membership exclusive. Please go and check out all the content behind there. Um, and that kind of leads us to, I think, uh, further support for the channel. We have a sponsor for today. That is Baron of Dice. Baron of Dice yes. produces our dice. All of our dice. Um, they produce our Victor dice as well as the dice that we use on the channel. Ooh, that was a good uh, roll. That is oh my goodness. Roll. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm well, glad. There you go. Advertising <laughs> for a pair of dice. It's like four sixes in there. Yeah. Uh, maybe you've got your sixes out of the way. But I'll be using these Baron of Dice today. These are Death Guard dice. Right. Death Guard like. And because it is Black Friday, uh, Baron of Dice does have a site wide sale right now for 20% off. So it is a great chance to go and pick up your own play on dice. If you so choose, it would be 20% off, but use the promo code that you find on their website. Yes, uh, we're also doing a slight 
Black Friday sale too for our apparel. <laughs> I'm wearing the really comfy premium pullover and I wear this a lot and I have to now wear it all the time because otherwise my wife steals it as I found out the other day. I thought we got her her own. I did get her her own and she wants two because they're so nice. Right, because she just wants to wear it all the time? Yeah. It's nice and comfy and I'd like it. <laughs> uh, so we do have a shop on Spring. Teespring. Um, Teespring. Well, yeah. I think they changed their name to Spring. Did they? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, so it's on Spring. So you can get things like our mug. We are you? Are you? Yeah, yeah that, no, that is a... Uh, product placement, yeah. <laughs> that's good product it's, placement. It's right, right, right here. Uh, as well as the... Where's apparel. mine? Huh? So all you gave me was the mug that is the one that you won for best overall general. Is that? Is that... So I, you, you're flexing here by showing, by making me use the mug of you, your trophy. Got it. Understood. <laughs> you know that I was using my trophy uh, to hold dice, and the only reason yeah. it's on the table is because you wanted the dice that were in my trophy. So. Did any of us play Epic when it came out back in the day? I never did, but I always wanted to. And so I'm really excited to be able to do that today. Now I'm gonna go through my army really quick and then you're gonna go through your army mm -hmm. and I'll give you a little bit of how it goes and we'll talk through this game with you because for a lot of you, this will be brand new. The rule system is brand new, although it's evocative of a lot of the old epic, apocalypse, middle of strategy battle game, 40K, 30K. Um, it's taken a lot of rules yeah. for a lot of different games. Yeah, actually, well, anyway. Anyways, I have, uh, as I said, around a thousand points. It's really a thousand ninety-eight. I think it ends up being that both of us have. Mm -hmm. But from this side to this side over here, I have a unit. Oh, I can never remember their name, but they are axe-armed infantry. Uh, it's got starts a, with a V. It starts with a V. Velitaris, auxiliary Velitaris. They're a bunch of axemen. They have no guns, but what they there there for is they just run up and hit you with an axe. They are actually very scary. They Close do. combat in this game is very brutal. Yeah, you just each roll off. The winner kills the other. Yeah. Pretty simple. Um, then the, and there's some modifications to that, but, and then I've got a unit of Ogren. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Ogren on four bases. That's considered four models, but there's, there's like a whole bunch of guys here. And these Ogren are also very good in close combat. Uh, they don't have really, they don't really have weapons on the side from close combat weapons. They just run up and hit you. Right. Um, uh, so really quickly, uh, egg binary. In the game we shot on Monday, Yes. Uh, there was four titans on the table. Yes. Uh, we are waiting more titans to be Ooh, painted. Yes. There will be we, we, future games of Imperialis will have more titans. Warlords, Reavers. Oh, Iconoclast. Like the Iconoclast is this we big. Have, we have we we don't have an Icon. I'm I saw, sorry. There's pictures of it though. But we don't have. We one. don't have one. No, but I want one. They're like this. They're huge. But we do, we do have some warlords in the office that just need to be painted. We've got some more uh, uh, warhounds. Some I think reavers. we've got a re we've got a at least reavers? one Reaver. Maybe, Maybe two? two? Yeah. Some knights, yeah. So we will. So sorry to interrupt, but keep going on your list. <laughs> then I've got some sentinels over here. Uh, four sentinels. Mm -hmm. um, then I've got two Malkador tanks. They're equipped with vanquisher cannons, basically anti-tank weaponry. And last A little cannons. bit more short range, but they punch hard. Longer range, but they punch hard against uh, they punch hard against uh, tanks. Oh, you don't have the, uh, but you have the- uh, I have the demolisher cannon on the front, the, yes. Sorry, the demolisher yeah, cannon. Yeah, that's shorter range. Yeah. Then back here, I've got my commander attached to a squad of infantry. Mm -hmm. You have to put them in squads, like in like in 30K. Uh, and yes, Imperial also 40 minutes, pretty much. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if it ends up being 40 minutes. That was a long shoot. Uh, he is going to be crucial to me winning because he helps my guys be able to give different orders and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Got another unit of Lehman Russes here. I expanded the unit, unit by adding more Lehman, Lehman Russes to it, so I actually have four and two. And then I have a Bane Blade that I've upgraded to my tank commander, so he basically gives orders and helps me out over here. I've got another, another unit of four infantry over here that are garrisoning the building. So they're Sorry, one second. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, got another unit of infantry that is garrisoning the building. Infantry die quick in this game. They're very easy to kill unless they're inside of a building or taking heavy cover. That allows them to be very survivable. So I put them right here because they're right on the line. It'll give them extra movement because they're up higher to hopefully get on some of the objectives. Mm -hmm. Then lastly, a Warhound Titan. The Warhound Titans can be equipped with two weapons and they're very, very, a lot of different kind of weapons. I have a Swarmer Missile on the left hand. Anti Long range anti-infantry mm -hmm. shoots eight dice, which is not normal. Normally it's like one dice, two dice per, per miniature. Mm -hmm. Eight dice with rapid fire is really good. And then the other gun is uh, Melta Lance, decent at six, 16, inch range, 16 inch range, but when you get down to six inches, it becomes really powerful and can, in some circumstances, really almost one shot a knight. Yes. Or sorry, a titan. Titan, yeah. It has to be just, just the right circumstances though. 
It does. Okay. Uh, so that is your list. Um, what do you got? What do I have? So I've got the Blood Angels on my side, so we'll, we'll go uh, the opposite direction. So over here, I've got a wing of Contemptor Dreadnoughts. I know, uh, it's so a whole wing. of those. And this is what makes Epic so cool, yeah. is the ability to take squadrons of Dreadnoughts and tanks. Uh, beside them, I have a squadron, a full squadron of Kratos Super Heavy Tanks. <laughs> beside them is a detachment of Space Marines. I've got Plasma Space Marines in there, Missile Launcher Space Marines, and regular Tactical Marines in there. Uh, in front of them is my uh, Warhound. My Warhound has to be braver than yours. Yep. Because I've got shorter range with his guns. You do have the same Melt Lance that I do, but you have the Ursus Claw. Which is, can be incredible oh, and so strong. can one-shot a knight. Actually can, yeah. However, uh, only six inch range. It bypasses Void Shields, which are, are a thing. Yep. And uh, it, you basically just roll a dice and that's how much damage it does compared mm. to the opponent's dice. It's, yep. it's potentially incredibly strong. Potentially. Uh, then uh, over here on my back objective, I do have a pair of Sakarans. Over here inside of my Rhinos, Karen's I have Karen's. my other detachment of Space Marines. However, because I've got a unit of uh, jetpacks and Terminators in that unit, they have to be outside of the Rhinos, kind of walking beside them. Yeah. Because they're not allowed inside the Rhinos. Yep. Rhino says no. Uh, uh, answering a couple of questions here. How long does it take to play a game? Well, it takes a roughly a thousand points uh, on a live stream. We did it in three hours. We did it in, yeah, I would, I would say if you knew all your rules, if you knew it well, I would still say you probably are looking at probably two hours. Mm -hmm. um, 2,000 points, I think you're probably looking at three to four. A 3,000 point, which is a standard game, which, which they said it's balanced for. Mm -hmm. If you know your rules, I think that's still a four, maybe five hour game. But that's a very pleasurable evening of just playing game A. Like, and this is, to me, one of those evening games with a, with a buddy. Uh, it's alternate activation, so that you're constantly both in the action. Um, but it is a fun, full evening game. Uh, would be reticent to see this in like big tournaments, just because of how. I don't think you're going to see a 3,000 point game tournament, but no. I, this game Maybe. is intended to have fun yes. with it. Uh, Fred the Cosmic Chicken, thank you so much for the donation. Just watching while setting up a table for a 2v2 game tomorrow, introducing a friend to 40k, and another is having his first game of 10th edition. Congratulations. Awesome. Yeah. I hope that's a very fun week weekend for you. All right. So lastly, before we go in, the mission today we are playing is uh, Point Attack. Uh, I try, try, I'm blanking on the actual name. Basically, our deployment zones are triangles mm -hmm. from the corners to the center objective and mm -hmm. back again. So literally, we could start like this if we wanted to. We're, I mean, I kind of did. You kind of did a little bit. I, I kind of did it as well. And there are one, two, three, four, five objectives on the table. Point assault. Uh, point assault. Point assault. I know it's pointy somewhere there. <laughs> it, it is pointy. Uh, and then, so what's happening here is the center objectives are worth four points each. Yep. Uh, our back objective is worth two, Yep. I believe. And then if you can capture your opponent's objective... It's seven. Seven. So, uh, yeah, and you score points at the end of every round. Four objectives. Four objectives. Uh, for every round, including the first round. Mm -hmm. And the, the scoring in this is very different than... Well, it's not that different, but there's, there's some nuances to it. Yes. The center ones start as uncontested. Uh, all, and to control an objective, you have to have uh, models on it. But you have to... To own an objective, you have to have more... OC, it's, it's called a different, different tactical. word, tactical strength than yeah. it is. You have to have more OC than your opponent, tactical strength. Yeah. More tactical strength than your opponent. And you have to have double the tactical strength. In order to capture it away. Yeah, yes. so you can't just have one extra guy and you win it. No. You have to have double whatever value they have. Mm -hmm. uh, Titans have zero tactical strength, which means yeah. they can contest an objective if there's no one there, but there's no way they're taking an objective away from anything else. Right. They're, they've got a very specific purpose in this yep. game. And that's to threaten and kill. Yes. Infantry, for instance, each stand get, has tactical strength of five, which means a sting, single infantry uh, can take the objective away from any tank or mm -hmm. ti uh, or titan or anything like that. Right. Uh, but, of course, they die easily. So, it's a game of maneuvering and death and destruction. It is a very high strategy game, which is why uh, yes. I've been enjoying it much so much. Yes. It is an alternate activation game as well. Uh, for anyone that was asking, I did see a question in there. It is alternating the activation. Yes. And why does it take so long? Alternating the activation takes a longer time because <laughs> yeah. you have to outmaneuver, outthink your, your opponent. Um, yeah. yeah. So let's go into the game mechanics just really quickly here before we get the game going. Uh, we have already deployed 
And after your deployment, the first thing that you do to start off your battleground is to put down orders. So we have uh, these order tokens. There are four orders that you can give. You can give uh, March, which allows your tanks, vehicles to double move, or your infantry to triple move. Yes, move uh, very fast. Move very fast. You have advance, which is kind of the most common order. That's the one where you can move and shoot. Yep. And then you've got uh, charge, which allows you to double move, but then you have to reach engagement of your opponent. Base contact. Base contact. And then you have uh, the last one would be to fire, fire first. First fire, it's called. Right. It basically allows you to fire before anything else, but you cannot do any moving. Right. So if you have an advantageous spot, like say right here, that you think you got good targets, you might do fire first to do just that. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then after you've put down your orders, uh, and both sides have put down your orders, you reveal them after. Yeah. So you reveal it to your opponent, so now you know what your opponent's trying to do, and then you roll for initiative. Yeah. Uh, and then after initiative, then the first <laughs> uh, phase is the movement phase. So you get to move everything that's eligible to move based on their orders. After that, it goes into the combat phase, and the combat phase is broken down into three sub-phases. You get fire first, then you get actually combat. So you, get, you have to do your melee. And then your third phase is your uh, advance. So regular firing, yeah. Right? And then you go into uh, the last phase, the cleanup phase, where you kind of score, you take battle shock if anything needs battle shock. I don't know if it's called battle shock in this edition. I don't uh, think it is. morale tests. Morale tests. Yeah. Um, and a whole bunch of other things. And then that constitutes an entire battle round. Yeah. Uh, quick shout out to Happiness. Thanks for the gifted membership. And Cor Corgi Watch. Thank you. Uh, thanks for introducing me to Warhammer franchise. I'm excited to get the Adeptus Custodes Codex next spring. That would be very exciting. It is very exciting. Okay. All right. Well, let's get right to this. We've already deployed. We've already given our orders. Mm -hmm. So let's put some uh, reveal them. I'm going to reveal them right now. Uh, advance on my Bane Blade. Okay. I forgot to put an advance on these guys. Uh, I'm going to put, uh, sorry, that would have been a march. March on the infantry right here in the building. Mm -hmm. There is a first fire on the Lehman Rust Squadron. Because if I can go first, maybe I can down some of those Kratoses. Mm -hmm. And then over here, I have my Warhound Titan have advance. My Malkadors over here have advance. My infantry with the commander advance. My Sentinels right advance. here advance. My Ogren are going to march. And my Axe Armed Velatarii uh, are going to march as well. Okay. And then uh, you reveal your orders. All right, so we'll go the other way. Um, so I'm hoping that I've surprised you a little bit. I have march on my Rhinos because it's always my favorite thing. I to figured do. that. Figured that. Do you know what this one is? I'm going to guess charge, actually. Charge. Yeah. And the reason I'm guessing charge is because I'm assuming that you're guessing that I'm going to move onto the objective far enough that you can charge me. Yes. Uh, ten, basically, 10 inches is your movement yeah. for that. And that would be just enough if I could find a measuring tape. And it also means, well, I'm more so thinking you're going to try to garrison that building. Yeah. And you are you are 10 inches away from that building. So I can charge both the building or onto that objective. It means I might not want to garrison the building. Yeah. We'll find out. We will find out. Uh, the rest of your minis. Then I've got fire first on the Sicarans. Yep. Uh, over here, I've got march with this unit. Probably thinking the same thing to garrison uh, that. Yep. I've got advance on my Kratos, and I've got advance on my Dreadnoughts. Excellent. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. And then. Oh, yeah. What's your Titan? Advance it on the Titan. It makes sense. It makes sense. All right, so then we go right into rolling for initiative. Who gets to go first with all their stuff? And this is not a uh, whoever wins a roll off in, uh, goes first. It's a choice. <coughs> yeah, whoever wins gets to choose. I got a two. Huh. I wonder if I want to go first or second. I think I want to go first. Uh, no, uh, it's a two. We, so we roll for the first round. Five. Four. So Four. you get to choose. Uh, so, in this scenario, I want to go first. Okay. I want to go first. Okay. Why is that, Nick? Why do I want to go first? Because I'm going to also get to go first in the shooting phase as well, and I think there's a lot of stuff that uh, I might need to try to kill, um, and I, I can kind of threaten you that way. Right. So, we go right into the movement phase, and we're going to go back and forth selecting a, a detachment and moving them. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to start with my... Ogren, and yeah, you're out of range there. Uh, my Ogren are going to march, and they're actually going to march into this building in the center. Can they, um... 15 inches. 
Right. So, yeah. so uh, every every single base can reach base contact. Yep. And thus, you're able to garrison that building. It's half has to. Yeah. At least half has to reach base contact with the building, mm -hmm. which is two, and then they can garrison the building, which means just they all just go inside, and they now count as occupying this entire building. They do. <clears throat> the Imperial Palace is crawling with Ogren. The Imperial Palace is crawling with Ogren. They are sitting there saying, "Come fight me." That is too bad because I really wanted to garrison that building. I as know well. you did, and that's why I wanted to go first. Right. And you don't have a charge order on those guys, which means you won't be able to charge in. No. So uh, their march order goes away because they can't do anything else this round. So I'm going to take their march order and go away with that. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a question: What's that guy doing? Oh, right in the center of the that table? guy should not be in, in on the battlefield <clears throat> because that's a part of the unit that's garrisoning. No, nope. these guys aren't even on part, are part of the battlefield. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be a lot of extra infantry. Okay. That's another probably uh, 100 points there. I activate my fire first unit. Uh, no, well, oh, I see. So you're gonna activate your fire first fire unit, so just sit there and do nothing. Yeah. Uh, what's the range of those autocannons that you got in there? Uh, probably 20, 22? The autocannons yep. are only 16. Okay, so you're not hitting anything currently. No. Uh, all the ruins and buildings are infinitely obscuring unless no. you're inside of it. Somebody might be wondering why I'm wasting an entire Sakarian uh, unit on <clears throat> on something where I probably won't be able to fire uh, them. Yeah. The, the issue is that you need to be on your back objective to score some points. Yep. And things are sticky. Yeah. So I'm going to use them to kind of just sticky that objective in the hopes of moving them out in later turns. Yes. Um, I'm now going to move my other marching unit. And that's this unit of Axemen right now. Mm -hmm. So they're going to march. They get to move up to triple their movement, which is five, so 15. And they also are going to go garrison this building. Most buildings can only be garrisoned by one detachment. Doesn't matter the size of the detachment. Could be 20 miniatures in there, mm -hmm. but just one detachment. But this is a big building, and it is a, a, cla a higher class of building, which means it's better defensive, but can also hold multiple detachments. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this detachment of Axemen, the Velatari, Tarii, Velite, whatever there. And they are also going to garrison this detachment. So here we go. Bunch of infantry saying, you can't get me. They, I don't know why they ran into a burning building, but... Uh, <laughs> you do realize that I can actually charge that building from there, right? How? You're not um, 10 inches away. So they have higher Oh, yeah, movement. come on in. They have higher movement. You want to fight, fight some Ogren? And remember, <clears throat> half of that unit is inside of those rhinos. Yeah. Which means that I can... Park my rhinos here, I don't get mind. them out, and then charge. I don't mind because I get plus two to my uh, combat bonus inside that building. Plus, uh, your Ogren get to roll three dice. Yeah, most and my Axemen will get to roll three dice. Yeah. So, so they're really good in there. They are. Um, so as much as that would be a lot of fun, that's definitely not worth it. This is, okay, someone was asking about this. This is, I don't know, if I, I, it's co uh, Coke with coffee. Coca-Cola with coffee, and mm -hmm. it is probably my favorite beverage. I don't know why it tastes so good, but it's, I, it's not an advertisement for it. It just, it's the best thing It doesn't actually taste like... No, I, I think it tastes amazing! I, I've, I, I've been drinking quite, or in the summer I was drinking quite a bit of it too. Uh, I read a statement somewhere where they know that you can't shake the can, which means the coffee flavor is separated from the Coke <clears> flavor, <throat> and they're okay with that. So it's kind of having two in one. I think it tastes one. amazing. <laughs> but we are not an advertisement for Coke. Whose idea was to make the Blood Angel banner green and the Solar Auxiliary red? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we wish we had the time to do everything that we wanted on the channel, but we don't have the time to do everything we want on the channel. So. Oh, well. Down with the auxilia? Hey, move in. Why? I hope Nick wins this one. Me too. I find it amusing that Nick's coughing while the Death Guard Nurgle symbol is beside him. Uh, to be clear, I'm not actually playing Death Guard. I'm playing the Solar Auxilia. Uh, but... It, uh, it has Death Guard behind her because I'm allied with the Death Guard. These guys are allied with the Death Guard. I painted them with green banners and stuff like that to be allied with the Death Guard green that we have. Now here's a question because I forgot. Yeah? When you activate the Rhinos, is it in the Rhinos activation that they can kick their yes. passengers out? At any point in the Rhinos movement, it, the guys get out. Okay, so two. it's not the, the guys inside activation no. for that. Awesome. All right, so then uh, you have Carl! an- Carl! Carl's in the chat. Hey, Carl. Hello. How you doing? Nick looks tired. I look Do I look tired? I mean, I'm a little tired. I stayed up a little bit too late last night. Did you? Yeah. Uh, the, I think your Sentinels move seven? They move seven, yes. Okay. These Sentinels here. Tau for the win. I, I'm so going to make a Tau army. I know this is 30k, but the rules system would work great for 40k armies. And because it's all 
special rules for everything, like universal special rules. You could just attach these to any units you want and make an any kind of army mm -hmm. really easily. Uh, Tau exist, uh, kind of. I'm waiting for you to move, so I'm going into Laurel okay, while right. I'm waiting for this guy I'm going to move. activate my rhinos, you tell the Tau story. In fact, uh, we're going to say that the Tau actually do exist as in form of a book right here in this Civitas Librarium. And uh, there's a little report from an exploratory vessel that found a remote system on the eastern fringe of the galaxy that uh, had a, 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 an alien race on it that was somewhat primitive, and they marked it for... Um, uh, compliance, execution, whatever you want to call it. Uh, at this at this time, the Tau are basically uh, primitive, a primitive race that was discovered, but they were never quite destroyed because of, well, the Horus Heresy and a warp storm making it that they were kind of safe from anybody coming in there very easily. So they were allowed to survive, and now they're a thorn in the Imperium side. <laughs> thorn is a good way to put it, for sure. Yeah, big thorn. Hey, Nick, I'm still recovering from the beating you gave me. <laughs> that was a fun game, Carl. Uh, I still feel bad about the beating, though. <laughs> and I feel we need to give you another try. So I hope you get to come up here another time sometime when we record another game and uh, and that you have a better dice roll because those dice were... Abysmal. Were bad. <laughs> yeah, to put it uh, lightly. Okay, so that is my rhinos. They are uh, right onto that objective. Um, great. So you're taking the objective. Fantastic. Very smart. Um, my Sentinels are now going to advance. I'm going to mm -hmm. advance with them, and they move seven. And I'm going to move seven inches. <laughs> sentinels make that that noise to me always. Always? It's the it's the actuators of their legs. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving fast. No, oh, uh, we forgot to talk about, uh, I don't know if we talked about secondaries, but uh, in terms of secondaries, what how you do it in... Uh, Prealis is it's a random roll, and each player gets uh, a single secondary. Yeah. So you randomly roll for a set of secondaries, yeah. and from that set, you choose the one that you want to do. You have the one where you have to chase table quarters? Yes. Uh, so I, I got the one where basically I get 15 points if I have three control three table quarters. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 or, points. Or in three table quarters. No, no. Control. You have to control. Control it, it which means have the most OC, tactical strength in that area. Nice. Okay. 10 points for being in two and, one, and five points for holding one. Okay. And then I got Carnage. Uh, so in order for me to score five points, I need to kill 35% of your forces. Yep. I get 10 points for killing 65% of your forces, and I got the full 15 points if I'm able to kill um, 85 85% 85 yeah. of your forces. And these all score at the end of the game. All the secondary score at the end of the game. So basically mm -hmm. you score your primary points and you score your secondary points at the end of the game. Yeah. And so scoring ends up being around 30 points if you're max, kind of maxed out. Uh, it doesn't really go much past and that. And the game is uh, five turns, so you have to be careful of that. It's five battle rounds. You gotta be able to do those things Yep. Or you, you have to, for you, survive until the fifth <laughs> battle round. And I get five battle rounds to just kill you. Nice. Uh, shout out to Jessica, because from a sick girl across the pond, kick butt. I'm assuming you're talking to me, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to kick your butt. Okay. And I'm sorry that you're feeling sick. I, yeah, me too. I, that, that was, yeah, okay. Assume? Now I, see, now I seem like a, a jerk. <laughs> Thank you, Tack. <laughs> Because he just focused on the kick butt part. Yeah. Yes, he did take the Ursus Claw. It's an amazing one-shot Titan Killer weapon if he can get in range and if he can hit with it. Yes. All right. Hold so I did the advance here. Did you move something? Um, I really want to see you march with those guys. Sure. But um, so I'm going to advance with my uh, Dreadnoughts. They move only five. So they're going to go as far up as they can over here. Right, as of right now, you have fire first with your Lehman Russes. 40k for ants. So yeah, this unit of Lehman Russes has fire first, which means that when we get to the combat phase, which is like the shooting and close combat, they will get the fire before anything else, mm -hmm. as long as they have something to fire at. It means they don't get the move, though. Yeah. So if he keeps his Kratos' in range, they'll get the fire before and possibly kill some of them. Yeah. Um, Possibly. And so that's why I put that on it because they have a nice line of sight right now. I'm mm. What I'm hoping is that he puts his Titan right here because he wants to be aggressive and come kill me with his Ursus Claw. And then I can fire all the Vanquisher Cannons because I got one, two, three, four, five, six Vanquisher Cannons. You would love that. That would be great. You would love that. Uh, uh, but that is uh, uh, advancing with the Dreadnoughts. Cool. Um, yeah, I will go with the Infantry next and they have the March Order on them. And I think 
objectives are sticky in this game. So you control it at the end of every round, you continue to cr control it and someone, until someone takes it away from you. Mm -hmm. So it actually is very advantageous to try to get on them quickly. And because you have nothing, uh, you have 15, uh, yeah, you could get on with those guys if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make you come contested if you want it. If you want it. So okay. my infantry are gonna move 15, and I measure from any point in this building that they've garrisoned, and I'm just gonna go on the other side of this terrain here because it's line of sight blocking, and I do not want to be shot by anything. That would be great to not be shot by anything, especially big dreadnoughts. Uh, uh, so knowing that you're gonna do that, I am going to switch up and take the advance away and do Overwatch instead. Oh, okay, so this to describe what Overwatch is, any unit can do Overwatch if they have the Fire First or Advance Order on them. And basically what that does is, at, during an opponent's movement, so it's only in the movement phase, at any point in that movement, so it doesn't have to be the start of the beginning, like, I'm moving from here to here, he could say, stop, that's where I'm Overwatching you. And so he, so everything's in range there. And you, you, I, basically, I've gotta put my guys as where he wants that to stop, and all of them are in range. So all, all of them are, you see what's in range and you see what's in line of sight. Cause you can only kill what's in line of sight. Yep. So, so that's exactly where I would lo love you to stop. So that's where I'm asking you to stop. Uh, so I've got two Karis assault cannons in there. I've got two twin linked uh, last cannons in there. Uh, but unfortunately my point defense weapons. Ooh, is gonna be out of range. Cause it's only eight inches. Oh, oh I've got oh, one. one is, two. one is. Two. Oh, two? Yeah, I'll give you two. Sure. So two of my point defense guns are in range. Now point defense are special. Not only do they get to the one of the only things that gets a split fire in the game, because everything has to fire at the same target, but they also don't suffer negatives to hit when firing overwatch. Right. And the negative two hit while firing overwatch is negative two. Yeah. Uh, to a maximum of you can always score hit on a six. All right. Nicholas Jensen, it's a Death Guard logo because I am allied with the Death Guard because we painted the we have two box sets and we painted the 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 legions to be Death Guard and and Blood Angels for this match. I'm just playing Solar Auxiliary, but they're allied with the Death Guard. Right. Now you have a reason. Okay. Now there's a reason. All right. So <laughs> let us try to hit you with twin linked uh, head bolters first. Uh, they are point defense, so I, they hit on fives. They're going to retain hitting on fives. We'll see if I get hit any. I hit once. Okay, so uh, is there any minus on that? There is no minus on that. Hey, but you got six up save, which I don't get, and they die. Okay. One dies. That, that's how quick things are. Yep. There is no roll to wound. You just roll the hit and roll the save. And most most infantry have a five or six up. Mm -hmm. Infantry, uh, guard infantry are six up. And uh, to Jessica's point, uh, I think somebody said Overwatch is like a trap card, uh, solar gray. Uh, that is true. So the reason why I moved up my dreadnoughts first. Yep was to be able to get them in a range, knowing that he had the march order, yeah. knowing that there's a chance that he was gonna to try to for that objective. Yeah, now this does mean that they cannot fire later in the turn. That is true. So yeah. all their weapons that normally hit on fours and fives are hitting on sixes, yeah. which I'm so, fine with. So it's a little bit of a trap. A little bit of a trade-off. Sorry, there's a trade-off there. Yeah. Um, all right, so then we're gonna go with the Karis Assault Cannons next. Uh, these are rapid fire. So any uh, roll of a six scores an extra hit. I did get a six, so they both hit. All right, fantastic. Uh, wait, the four doesn't hit. Yeah, but the six, it's rapid fire. Oh, you said both hit. Oh, it's rapid fire. Yeah. Oh, so that the count, rapid fire, basically six counts as two hits. Yeah. So any AP on that? Uh, AP one. Okay, so I don't get no save. You killed two more. Wow, this is going bad. You've killed two more. There's one left. There's one, one left. One guy left. So can can I get a six on the last cannon? Last cannon's in the infantry. I do get the six. Oh! Uh, but because it is an anti-tank weapon, uh, you, the AP goes away. Yes, uh, anti-tank weaponry can't give, give their AP to against infantry. Don't get a six, you've killed the entire unit just like that. That was a really good overwatch. I, well, you also rolled really well. Yeah, I did. Uh, what is the bonus for twin linked? There is no bonus for twin linked. It just is called twin linked. It might be more accurate in the dice roll. Uh, yeah. There's no special rule called twin linked. No, it's just in, in the name of the weapon. So the weapon might be have a higher, higher dice total or a better chance of hitting or something like that, but it's yep. just built in. Okay. All right, well, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Would you move the rest of your movement after Overwatch then? Uh, yeah, so after Overwatch, I would have then completed my movement and put them where I wanted to Yeah, it to doesn't go. stop you from the move. Yeah. It's just that you can fire it at any point of the move. Yeah, so as they move between buildings. They oh, they died. They just died. Wow, that, uh, you know, infantry, very cheap. That was a 35 point unit of my, of my 1,100 mm -hmm. points. Mm -hmm. But I only have four infantry units, and those are so valuable for taking and holding objectives. Right. 
So, well, you're, uh, it is actually still your turn because that wasn't an activation. That was just Overwatch. So Correct. I activated those guys. They died. Your turn. So now uh, I have a march with them. You so can get on I, the objective. I could get on the objective. I think you have uh, to go around your tanks, though. I do have to go around my tanks. Um, but I can freely go through uh, that train there. Infantry can go freely through buildings, yes. Um, do I garrison the building and leave that objective for later? Because if I'm on the open on it, uh, yeah. your Titan and that Swarmer missile yeah. has an actually chance of wiping out, and we've seen it yeah. before, yeah. Uh, do very well against infantry. Unfortunately, the garrison garrisonable building is too far away from the objective. It you is. could go in the terrain here and get some cover. It'd be minus one to hit you. And Only get for the bases that are wholly within the Wholly within. It also would be, uh, sorry, I, I, if at least, if at least one is on the terrain, you get minus one. Right. Um, and then you'd also get a cover save. Yep. Uh, cover save is like an invuln save. It basically can't be negated. Uh, an another neat thing about this game in particular is that you can only kill what you see. Yeah. So if I can find a way to hide a lot of it behind uh, yeah. the ruin, yes, you can shoot at the ones that are visible in front, but you can only yeah. kill the ones that are visible in front. Three inches, you would actually be on the other side of this building and still hold that objective. Right, which is uh, what my missile launchers could do. Yeah. So, <laughs> so a move of five gets me there. Oh. And then another 10 would get me uh, over there. Kalyan, I can't wait to get all the flyers in here and the bigger, uh, the bigger... I want to play giant games of this. This is risky. Minis are so small, I can't see much. Yeah. yeah uh, that, that if is... you change the si side camera, Tycho, you might be able to see a bit more. We've, we've been... Uh, so... Left side of the yeah, it's really tough to see some, some of the miniatures. They are very tiny. Um, yeah. For uh, the edited games, we'll have a lot more like close-up gimbal shots and stuff like that. It's a little tougher for live streams to do that. But we are trying to uh, at least tell you as much as we can, so that that hopefully helps in the future. Maybe we can figure out a way to do, maybe we can figure out a way to do some sort of uh, handheld kind of trans transmission system. That would be good. Yeah, um, that might be a good upgrade for uh, later. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm not actually going to put them in the building, because I'm hoping that because uh, that's infinite, uh, and blocking line of sight, and all kind of uh, structures block line of sight, yeah. that when your Titan moves over here, I don't know if you can actually get line of sight. So there is no way for me to do that. No. no uh, you do have seven inch move. I, I have a seven inch move, but the most I can move would be like here, and then yeah. there's nothing for me to see. You have managed to hide that entire unit from this massive Titan. They're shaking their boots. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Um, um, yeah, this is a very tactical game. Yes, I'm it's loving very it. High I'm, I'm loving it for it's it's uh, just having to guess what your opponent's trying to do. Have a tiny RC car driving around the battlefield would be so freaking cool. Uh, I've seen it with Hot Wheels where they put like a little webcam on them. So in terms of uh, uh, painting um, and and the train, Tycho and Big Grant Cooper. did an incredible job on the train. Tycho did this incredible like oil washing on the roads and everything. That's why like. The overhead looks so fantastic. Uh, I did the base coat on the Space Marines, and then Tycho and Brent had to go in and do all the detail. Uh, so this was a very much a team effort for getting this together. Oh, they're going over there now. Malkathors are going to go over here. Okay, perfect. Um, they keep their advance order. Yep. Uh, facing matters in this game. So these guys have a bunch of front-facing weapons, which means they can only fire in their front arc. For instance, if something's here, uh, they it'd be their back arc, and they wouldn't be able to fire at it. Mm -hmm. So facing matters a lot in this game. Uh, plus, if you get manage to get in their rear arc and shoot at them, it's an additional AP to it. Even with something like a light weapon, which normally oh no, it's hits or takes guard. So light weapons can't even damage it, even the rear arc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, tiny space wheels would be awesome. So then, that Malkador, uh, I would need to be all the way over here, so that my uh, I can draw a line of sight to them. I'm totally going to make a Tau Epic Army, or Imperialis Army. I'm not going to stop you. Will you play with me with it? If I make custom rules for it? There, there, there's online rules for it, I can find them. Yeah? Cool. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, tiny, tiny Orcs would be awesome. Tiny Orcs would be... Uh, I would, like, you could have like 12 Gargans across the screen. You like, know what? Uh, uh, it's funny, because when they, uh, they announced this, I think I was at home cleaning, and I grabbed like this little container of like... 
I guess it used to be a yogurt container, and yeah. I opened up the lid, and inside it were epic uh, tyranids. No way! Yeah, so you I still have them? I still have some epic tyranids. Oh, Not enough awesome. to play a game, but... Awesome! Some of those epic models didn't age well, though. <laughs> no. So I've got a major conundrum here. How about adding some bases, some tape or something bright so we can identify them because it's really tough to see. Yeah, I think we probably need to do that. Around the bases, maybe? Yeah. Like a ring of color of some sort? Yeah. The tanks are a little bit, are okay, but it's the infantry that are the tough part. It is, yeah. 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 Hey, Nick, do you think a crisis suit would be about the size of a micro townar? Um, a townar is... Townar is bigger than a knight, and a knight is that big, so a crisis suit would actually be too big. Um, a townar would be a little bit bigger than, say, a stealth suit. So I'm on two objectives as of right now. Uh, you're on this objective right now, and you're on this objective right now. My gambit to take this this objective failed. I've taken the center though; it's mine. Yeah. Uh, and you're you've got 22 inch range with uh, your your tanks right now. Uh, the big guns are 30, 32, 34. Okay. Yeah, the the Vanquisher cannons are 32 inch range. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go with my Titan, um, and I'm going to go there. Um, and then here. Now, if a Titan never lands on any kind of terrain feature that isn't like a building, it just destroys it. It just destroys it. Just so the, boom! That's gone. All uh, gone. Yep. Is this meant to be played more at 2K or 1K points? A pretty good size for this game. 1K is actually on the small side. It, we're playing it because this is easier to play fast. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it would be a very long stream because we're still learning this game. Mm -hmm. The book says this game is optimized around. 3,000 points. It is, yeah. Which is a long game. And the reason why, and we kind of saw that example there, at the smaller point sizes, Nick losing that one infantry unit just trying to get on the objective yep. is big. That's massive yeah. at this point size. In a bigger game, that unit would be six, seven, eight, twelve 12 men strong. Yeah. Yeah. Or you would have another uh, squad of uh, infantry. Ready to just run in, yeah. 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 So yeah. this one, it's a little bit more higher risk, higher reward. You feel the pain of losing every single unit at the smaller point size. Yeah. Uh, you might want to remove your march token. Oh yeah, because they're dead. <laughs> but I have an advanced with my Titan. He is going over there. All right, that's, yeah, I was kind of worried about that when I moved my Malkadors, but I had to choose something to move mm -hmm. because Malkadors here, they get Vanquish Cannons, could go here. Yep. Right now, can you see anything to shoot? Nope, I can, I'm gonna just shoot the building. Okay. I'm gonna shoot the building. Yep. Yeah. Buildings are destructible in this game. You can just blow it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so they moved. They're good with they are. I'm gonna hold the objective with these guys. They're just gonna stay there, hold the objective. That's fine. Hmm. The objective is at the end of the turn. End of the turn, yeah. End of the turn, turn. yeah. Uh, and once you've claimed it, because we do have sticky objectives. Uh... You know what? Let's just go crazy. I don't care about optimal range. Boom. Awesome. Titan just moving up. I'm saying, bring it. That's exactly what I needed you to do. I know you did. You wanted me to. Uh, so I'm going to advance these, and they're going to go, because uh, they have a move and a bait. Four, and then there. Hide them all? Yeah. Well, uh, get some shots on your Titan. But mitigate your shots from, uh, hopefully mitigate. Actually, you know what? They can't, because they won't all be able to hide there. I mean, yeah, you can only hmm. kill what you can see, but still. Because that is just a ridiculous amount of Lehman Russes. An absolute ridiculous amount. There are one, two, three, four, five, six Lehman Russes <laughs> waiting to pounce on my four, poor Kratos. In terms of service, all these little fires, um, they're from Deadly Print Studios. We, it just, they're, they're, they're meant for 40s K scale, but it was kind of fun to put them all down. Um, and then these little tokens for our orders. These are, the, these are the tokens that come with the base game. And I gotta say, if there's something I'm disappointed with the game, it's these cards. They, these yeah, tokens. those tokens they are... They are cheap paper. Mm -hmm. They're not even cardboard. Mm -hmm. Like, and like, I can't even, I couldn't even punch them out of the the puncher cleanly. Like, there's like bits of paper and just, they just feel really cheap. So we've 3D printed our own and uh, I think we'll put them up for public for everyone to everyone to download if they have a 3D printer and want their own. Hmm. Cowardice. This is almost a GD of a way to have an apocalypse-sized battle that you guys tried with the Treadhead guys to get have more big stompy models. Oh yeah, if this was a 40k game right now, this would be a huge game. It'd be one 
two, three, four, five, six. You'd be about you'd be about eight thousand points on your side. I'm guessing. Man, I can't get away from your stupid Kratos tanks. There we go. Oh, sorry. Uh, you're I, you're I, worried I, about these guys. I, so these guys have a bunch of Vanquisher cannons, which are really really good. They have Armor Bane uh, and AP four, and so you'll be saving on fives or sixes but having to re-roll the a successful save. Yeah. Now they have two wounds each, but that might not help. That's why I put first fire on these guys, because it's a big threat, and it makes you have to really think about them, because you can't just sit there and hope to exchange oh. fire with me. Oh, they're willing to break. We, we, lost it. we lost the last cannon spot, Oh. So I'm going to ask that you let me fire it. <laughs> so No, it's broken. It's destroyed. Uh, Tycho, can I come give this to you? Because I'm really worried about losing. Here, just put them in the, in the box over there. Is there a box of Imperials? Lost yeah. Lost and found bits. Uh, it'll, it'll get lost in there in the corner. Put it in the Imperials box, which doesn't have corners. Like, okay. doesn't have little bits for the cardboard. That's how. Don't put it with my pizza. I've still got a few bites of pizza. Do you? <laughs> so either I, I risk this firefight between yeah. uh, them. Risk, you've, yeah. got a, you've got a higher range of uh, fire than me. Yep. Because um, I've only got range 20. So I need to basically get into your effective range. Yep. Come now, on. You, you've got to... Come forward. Come fight. Oh, coward. Coward just runs away. Oh man. <laughs> is Legion Paralysis kind of like a large scale horse heresy in terms of rules? Uh, there are some similar rules, but it is a different rule set. Uh, as an alternate activation rule set. It's, so it's, it's very different. Like we have been playing for about 40 minutes and hasn't fired a single shot. We've just been moving back right. and forth. Hey, 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 I fired shots. Sorry, that's true. You did fire a shot. Uh, you did Overwatch. All right, so they've moved. You cowardly ran away. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I know what that's like. Um, so with that, I'm going to activate my commander here. Mm -hmm. Now my commander has a special rule called Master Tactician, which means a unit within six inches, like this one right here, I can change their order when I activate this unit. I've been doing this on purpose because this threatens it if I want to, but I can also change it right now. So I'm going to change the fire first, which means they can't move and, uh, and have to just fire, but they have to fire first, mm -hmm. to an advance rule, which means they can move and still fire. I would go march. You would go march? What, what can you see with them? Well, if I go here, I can shoot some, some rhinos. I could see some rhinos and shoot them. You'll be able to get maybe two tanks over there? I mean, that's better than shooting nothing. That's true. You just want me to shoot nothing. I do. Yes. Uh, and they get movement eight. They are super fast. They are very fast, yes. Um, yeah, killing a couple of rhinos, which are very, very annoying, I might add. Or I just go over here. Uh, no, can't see them still. Eight gets me to here. I could shoot some dreadnoughts. Yeah. I think the dread, Dreadnought threat might be the best one. So I'm going to move eight inches over to here. Mm -hmm. So Now, uh, vehicles, as far as we know, have infinite pivots. Uh, so they're very, very mobile. Mm -hmm. A Warhound Titan, or sorry. Yeah, All the, Titans can only pivot once. Except the Warhound Titans have the Agile keyword, and they're able to uh, pivot twice. Exactly. Where's the entire Titan list? Uh, Hans, we haven't painted that many Titans, so we can't do uh, Titanicus. Uh, we will one day. Uh, yeah, Titans can't take objectives. You would lose if all you took was Titans. Yeah. Um, uh, this also seems like a great way to reenact this band or oh, other large groups. Oh, 100%. Groups. 100%. I want to. I want to do that. It'd be a lot of fun. I would like to as well. All right, so my Lehman Russ has moved up there. Sure. They don't have much to shoot at. Uh, because I only have the charge order. And what happens is if you're unable to do something like a charge, uh, you're allowed to just move them to five inches. Now the assault marines do have a seven inch move. Yeah. And they can move, so they can charge 14 inches. So you could just charge into the building. If you I could. To. I don't want to. You being base contact with every single model there and I get to fight you so many times and kill them all. Yeah, uh, that is a battle in which I would lose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a, let's see, hold on. Birdie, we've, we've worked with Do you uh, with, have uh, to? Do you have to make a charge if you're eligible to? If you are, uh, no, you do not. But if you don't make a charge with your charge order, all you can do is, is move. Is move normally. But you do have a commander with master tactician. You can change that if you want to. Oh, that's true. You also have the master tactician. It's a big, big deal. Big deal. Yep. Burn Mubin's Prospero. <laughs> uh, Birdie, we have worked with Winters before. Winters is great. We love Winters. 
Um, oh, sorry, you're talking about Midwinter Minis. Winter is a different channel. Midwinter Minis, they make some awesome stuff. Um, 10 would actually not, or no, 10 from that point of that building, you are eligible to charge into that building. How did you guys get data sheets? We have the rule book. So, uh, the uh, GW was nice enough to send us an advanced copy of the game, and so we, uh, we have access to the rules, and that's great. Um, so I'm going to change that order. I'm very worried about all that business. Yes. Unfortunately, uh, but I'm going to change that order to a uh, March order. Yeah, makes sense. And just March. And then the just directive. March and. Uh... Oh, sorry. To clarify, and these guys had to. Oh, yeah. Never mind. That's good. They, they're staying right there, right? Yeah. So um, they're going to march, which means I'm going to just get onto the objective on the other side of it because a march allows them to move uh, triple their speed. Um, because all of that could fire into that building. Indeed it could. Um, so, so I would rather, I think, well, this is really tough. You made this <laughs> really tough super because uh, you put those there. Yeah, th these are actually fairly long range. They are. Uh, you are minus two to hit a building. Yep. Uh, all, uh, the only weapons I have that can damage the building are the demolisher guns on the Malkadors, mm -hmm. the demolisher gun on the um, on the Bane Blade, and the Titan. You know what? Just make it easy for the audience. Um, just imagine that all of my Marines are now inside of this building here. Here, we'll take this fire off to make it easier. Yeah. So I've got a Fire's cool, but tactical squad. Decorative. I've got a jump pack squad. I have a Terminator squad uh, and my commander are all inside of that building. Garrisoning that, that does mean that they're targetable. However, uh, because split fire is not really a thing in this edition, you could take your Lehman Russes and fire into that tank or into that building, but then you're leaving my Contemptor Dreads alone. Nice. Which is what I would be okay with. Birdie, of course we, we uh, we chat with you. That's the whole point of these live streams. If you're not interacting with your audience, it's kind of like we do our edited stuff, but the whole point of these live streams is to hang out with you guys. So that's the kind of fun of it. Um, yeah. Uh, we're um, not able to get to every single comic because sometimes they go by too fast, but we try. We try. All right. So that would be my final and last uh, activation to do this turn. Cool. I've got one left, and that is my Bane Blade. My Bane Blade doesn't have a ton to do. Uh, Bane Blades. It's actually, sorry, it's not a Bane Blade. This is a uh, Auxilla Super Heavy Tank Squadron with a, a Auxilla Super Heavy in it. Move seven inches. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think, let me check if this can fit through here. <laughs> no, I got stuck. The sponsors make me stuck. <laughs> so I wanted to go here and then I was going to try to... You can like, help me take down this building. Uh, help you take down the building? No. Uh, the Bane Blade is just going to go help out his other tanks. Okay. Birdie says hi, Nick. Hi, Birdie! Uh, still can't see the Titan, so I'm just going to go over here. Okay. All right. So what, I'm so what you, I think you've done a really good job is that is an overloaded uh, center of the board. Yes. Uh, that's going to make anything I do in future turns incredibly scary. Essentially what I've done is abandoned this side of the board to give you points, mm -hmm. but that only works if I manage to take both. And because you killed these guys, I can't take both. So frustrating. I'm okay <laughs> with it. It is alternate activations. Chris, uh, we have just finished the movement phase. Which we've gone back and forth, back and forth, moving our stuff, still in turn one. And now we have just finished those and now we're about to shoot back and forth. So the first thing we go to in the combat phase is the fire first step. So anything with the first fire order, uh, gets to fire now. And I used to have a unit here that changed their order. That uh, So you have one unit that is first fire. Yep. Unit Kratos is. Which or they, sorry, uh, Sakarans. Yeah, which nothing is in range, so that simply just goes away. They have nothing to shoot at, so mm -hmm. they just fizzle. Yep. And then we go into the close combat phase. Uh, so anything that's in close combat. Unfortunately, nothing's in close combat, even though that'd be nice for these guys to be in close combat. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a bunch of guys in this building. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we then we move on to just the regular firing, which is everything that has an advance order. Yeah. So starting with me, because I have priority, mm -hmm. we are going to do that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to start with, because you have pretty much nothing that can fire at me. And yeah, you have nothing that can fire at me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to start with these Sentinels. These Sentinels are going to fire everything at these Rhinos. Got it. Okay. Um, see if I can't take out a couple. So the Sentinels do have some crack, uh, miss uh, crack missiles. One shot for each of them. Mm -hmm. Hitting on fours. I hit two of them. Nice. They are light AT. So even though they have, 
AP1. Uh, so you no, know, these are anti-tank. These are anti-tank. These yeah. are anti-tank, so they're AP1. Anti-tank means the AP still matters against a tank. Right, so I have a four up save with my Rhino, yep. so that's gonna go to a five. But just like that, I lose two Rhinos. Boom, boom, kill two. So just like that, that's yeah. how that's how brutal this game is. Um, and um, then- So uh, another thing that's important is you need to remove only the ones that were eligible to die, which are the ones that are uh, visible to that unit. Can you measure the range there? I think uh, it's 10 inch range with the, or 14 inch range with the melted lasers. Yeah, I'm in range of one more. Okay. So the, the even even the weapon range, like I can only kill one more here. Even if I wound with all of these. Uh, oh, that was a great roll. Three wounds for you, sir. Okay. This only has light AT, which means even though it's a light weapon, which normally can't damage vehicles, uh, I can still damage vehicles, though it has an AP value of zero. Of zero. So I get my four ups. Uh, so you kill one more right now? Look at that, I killed one more. Now, this now that has to be that one. Yeah. Luckily, that building is close enough to that objective, so I've garrisoned it, so I'm fine. However, but that unit has now been taken below half strength, which means right now, you need to take a morale test. Yes. You are close enough to your commander, so you can inspire him and give um, them I'm his fine. morale. On a five up. There you go. Okay, so so they, no problems. Uh, and once, uh, every time you lose down to half, you should take a morale test, but every unit can only take a morale test once per battle round. Yeah. Uh, where did we get all the small bits from? Uh, some of them were included in the terrain packages. Some of them we built. Like I built a little playground here and I built some little bits of barrels and mm -hmm. uh, some sort of defensive thing. Mm -hmm. I, I made the trees from the trees we had, mm -hmm. something like that. It's fun. It's fun. Um, is there a fantasy equipment for this? There was. It was called War Epic or War Master or something like that. There wasn't. There was a fantasy version. It doesn't exist anymore. Maybe it'll, it'll exist one day. All right. Uh, and uh, as you saw, it is quite easy to kill things in this game. Uh, that's why I've had to hide a lot of my units, considering you've got an entire wing of tanks uh, coming down the middle. How hard are the minis to paint? Well, the minis, the, the, it depends on how detailed you want to go. It's actually incredibly easy to spray them one color and then apply a wash to it. And that really is battle ready. That, that it, it makes them detailed enough that I'd play with them. Mm -hmm. But you can go so much more detailed if you want to. And you can, we've seen some incredible stuff out there. Right. Uh, I would say that the... Um, painting the Titans is like painting a Marine. Some of these are deceptively harder to build than you would think. You would think at this scale that they're all kind of like mono piece. But because you're able to equip your dreadnoughts with either a last cannon or a terrorist auto move. cannon, like the, the guns move back and forth. There, and there is some the the responses move. move. There's some articulation with it. Uh, there are a deceptive number of parts. You're, if you're a hobbyist and that, that's something that you love, they're <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, uh, it is not. Uh, pick it up. Paint your Titans and sub assembly. Paint your Titans and sub assembly? Okay. All right, so it's your turn to fire something. Okay. What, what, can, you, what can you fire? Not much. Uh, not, uh, the building. Yeah, the building. so all you got left is to shoot the building? Yep. I'll oh. take it. Okay, so uh, I need stats because uh, we only have one sheet for the... All right, so first thing you want to shut fire is the Ursus Claw. Yep. Uh, fire away. Hitting you, on two. You hit on a four, four. normally, okay. but plus one because you're shooting at a building. So right. don't miss. So on a three, I missed. You missed. I don't know how you missed with this claw right in front of you. Maybe it hit the foundation or something. Probably, yeah. I don't know. And then you also have your... Um, your your melt a lance, which hit, which does hit. Uh, it uh, is minus four to its save. Yep. So uh, two dice. Oh yeah, sorry, two dice. So you rolled a one. Uh, yeah, yeah, one. Uh, sorry. How buildings save is they actually save on two dice. So normally you can't roll a seven, right? Well, on two dice you can roll seven. Mm -hmm. So it's minus four, uh, but it, I can still save if I get an. Uh, uh, roll a, one more dice. Yeah. You rolled a one. It's a nine. Five, six, so I don't save. Okay. Unfortunately, it only does one damage. Yep, and that building has three wounds. Yeah. Uh, so that building is down to uh, two wounds remaining. Uh, I really do want to collapse it though. That'd this, yeah, if, if it collapse, it does a wound to everything in at minus one. Mm -hmm. Everything in there only has a, a six up save, which means everything in there would be dead. Um, so yeah, it's very advantageous. Now this is a big building, it's harder to kill. Mm -hmm. We're gonna now try to kill this building. Could you look up what the save of a, of a building is? Oh, here, I, I, can, I can do it quick. I know where it is. So I'm gonna go now, and I'm gonna go with my Malkadors. They each have a demolisher turret. You can only damage buildings with a weapon that has the demolisher keyword, so it's mm. a big, big, or the heavy blast keyword, yep. or a Titan. 
Th those, are, those are the... I, I think you should just demolish this building so that we have line of sight in the middle. <laughs> so mean, it's a four-up save and has two wounds. Yeah. Uh, your Makador, the demolisher is 12-inch range? The demol demolisher... The, eight. the demolisher right here? Oh, oh it's yeah, it's, it's not far. It's uh, the demolisher cannon, hall-mounted demolisher is 12 inches away. Okay. So they're definitely in range. So I'm going to fire them, both of them, into this building try to kill it. Because if I kill this... Then I got can kill some. Uh, they have some, line of sight. Yeah. I have line of sight on these uh, these Dread dreadnoughts, dreadnoughts here. Yeah. So two shots from the from the demolisher cannons hitting on fours hit neither. I could fire the vanisher battle cannons, but there's nothing to fire at them at. I can't split fire, and they don't have the demolisher keywords. They can't damage the building. They can no. just punch holes in it. So uh, that's that. So the, the, the fun thing is, yes, you can destroy uh, buildings, but it is tough. They've made it tough to do it. Yeah. Can titans run through buildings? No, they. Cannot. No, but they get but a free attack against buildings. They do. Oh. Yeah. No. If they're should. touching it. Yeah. I should have touched the building. Should have touched it. Yeah. Should have touched it. Uh, yeah, then I could have fought you, though. Yeah. And I, with that many guys, I have a chance of downing that knight. You do. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, your turn. I did them. Your turn. Okay. Uh, I wave angry at you for the rest of the battle round. I've only got the Bane Blade can fire, and he can fire his Demolisher Cannon and try to take one wound off the building, but that's it. No, you're, you moved your Lumen Russes. You've got shots on my... Uh... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll shoot the Lumen Russes. How many can see? Can you, can you check how many can see? I can't see these buildings in the way. And pretend this fire is not here. That's decorative. Two. Two can see. All right. I will fire two of the Lumen Russes at your Dreadnoughts there. Uh, the Vanquisher Cannons first. Uh, hit one of them. Yep. AP one. Minus four. With the Vanguard Shirt? Uh, I think so. It's not it minus it's four? It's not, it's not minus four. Oh, right. That's, I'm thinking of the Titan weapon. No, <laughs> you're right. It's minus two. Okay. Minus two. Nice try. Uh, which takes me to a six up. I'm arm armored. Uh, uh, you're armored. That doesn't help against nope. anti-tank. So you kill one? I kill one utterly. And then we've got two LAS cannons on the hull mounted. Miss them both. Wow, sure. that was terrible. All right. Killed one of the Dreadnoughts. Not yep. enough to call, cause a morale test, but... We're done there. And uh, your turn. Can you fire anything? Nope. All right. Bane Blade. Bane Blade's gonna fire his demolisher cannon into the building because that's all he can do. He might as well do something. Kay. One shot from the demolisher cannon, hit on a four, it hits. Uh, can you make a save for that? Um, it, the demolisher cannon is super heavy demolisher cannon, minus three. So that would go to a seven? Yeah. I have save it. Yeah. That's, that's kind of hard to kill buildings. It is, it's very hard to kill buildings. Yeah. Um, so again, how the mechanic works is they've got a four up save. It was minus three, so that was seven. But on two dice, I rolled a nine, exceeding uh, the armor penetration, so the building is okay. Yeah. All right. Can the nice Thunder Strike power yeah. weapons yeah. throw tanks? You know what? I haven't even looked at the uh, Imperial Knight stats yet. That would be really fun if they could. Yeah. Okay, All so, right. So that is battle round one. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, because so even though there's more things, uh, I can't do any of them. Mm -hmm. So even though I have more things that could do stuff, uh, none of them can actually fire anywhere or do anything. So all the rest of the orders just go away. Just they can't see anything. They can't, do anything. No. They can't see anything. Nobody can see anything. No. My Titan doesn't have line of sight to anything else. This building is blocking there. These ruins are blocking there. These ruins are blocking there. The rest of my tanks, the Bane Blades, these infantry, all these guys marched into the building. So there's no other shooting in this in this round. No. That was pretty straightforward. That was pretty straightforward. Uh, are they going to bring characters into this? There are... Uh, Commanders. Generic commanders. But we don't know if there's going to be actual characters. Uh, do we use contrast paint? We actually use airbrush, a little bit of contrast paint, um, but I used, a lot of washing and dry brushing. I use a lot of I use a lot of contrast paint on my guard, on your on your guard. Yeah, because yeah. you're yep. Yeah. Um, okay, so then we go into the end step. In the end step, we check to see if anything needs to take morale. Nothing needs to take morale. We check to see if we need to recharge any void shields. Nothing needs to take, uh, <laughs> recharge void shields. And then we go into scoring. So I've got uh, four points for being on that <laughs> objective, four points for being on this objective. I have two points for being on this objective. So that's four, four, eight, ten. Uh, you are on the center objective, so that's four points. You're on your home objective for two points. So I'm winning ten to six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's because my guys died. Early, if you missed it early, uh, I ran them forward and they died. What are the differences between the factions? That's a good question, because it kind of seems very similar. Aside from the slightly different units, I mean, there's kind of an equivalent for them all. Um, aside from the slightly different units, we have a special army rule. Your special army rule is that you can, um, basically, if you 
win a combat, the you can pile in three inches and fight fight another unit that he mm -hmm. had. So you can basically pile in on something, kill it, and pile in on something else and kill that. Yeah, it can be very very useful. Mm -hmm. And uh, my special rule is that all my infantry, if they're in base contact with another infantry, they get plus one to their objective control. Mm -hmm. I also have a special rule that's more of a detriment that all of my guys uh, can't be given, most of them, most of the guys can't be given orders like normal. They can only be given the advance order unless they're in range of a commander. I have a commander here and my Bane Blade is a, a command tank. Uh, there are a few exceptions to that, like the Sentinels. That's why they're out there in the open by themselves and the Ogren and the infantry here. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, so now that we've done scoring, this would go to round two. Round two. Hey, uh, we did, that's the fastest we've done round one. With a lot of explanation to the audience and chatting <laughs> with the audience. So yeah, that wasn't too bad. So then you start off the round, any round, again, by issuing orders. That's the first thing that you do. Yeah. So I'm going to... So pick... in secret, we're both going to put down orders, either advance, march, charge, or first fire. Fire mm -hmm. first. I always get confused. Mm -hmm. um, this, there's probably going to be some charges this round. And there are very likely going to be uh, some major deaths. Major deaths! That would be the hope, yeah. Did you take all the charge tokens? Well, if I take them all, then you can't do it, right? That's how, <laughs> is that how that works? Pretty sure that's exactly how that works, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think you did take all the charge tokens. I'm telegraphing what I'm doing. So it sounds like you're charging stuff out of that big central building there. Very possibly. <laughs> very, very possibly. Um, yeah. I won't tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> the problem with all this here, this is all anti-tank weaponry. Very little of it is anti-infantry weapons. Yeah, I which know. means those infantry... <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm telling for them so they know. <laughs> Is the terrain modular able to remove damage bits? I mean, you could make it modular. Like, we have bits that can come off. Uh, where are the bits that come off? Like, like that. You could make it modular. Some of it we've glued down. Um, it would be really fun if you see, like, a Titan fire its uh, gun yeah. past something. And just pull the top off of it. Fun. That would be a lot of fun. Um, but the, the terrain building it, it was lots of fun to build it. It was really modular mm -hmm. to build. I could build whatever I want. Like, I built this thing, not from the rule book, just because I wanted to build really cool terrain. I built a little bridge thing, a hospital, I'm calling it. Hmm, I guess there's no point in doing anything else. Those Kratoses are going to come out and play at some point here. Yep, they are. Uh... What are you guys thinking about your Titan movement? Oh, I mean, like what we did for the Titan movement? Well, no, what, what, what these Titans plans like? What, 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 oh, how are you, how I... Are you I to do with my titan i, I want to kill his titan my problem with my titan is just the the uh it's a close so combat titan, titan. titans have two void shields yep. and then they have four wounds and i also have uh a very short range on his gun so my titan is vulnerable to that hot mess that yeah. is my problem um so but you can't hide the titans forever i have a secondary where i need to kill Possibly eighty-five percent of your army, so I can't hide forever. No, hiding forever would be uh, would be bad for me. Um, but yeah, I have all of uh, I believe all of my orders are now down. How about you? Yep, all my orders are down too. Okay, so then now we reveal. Um, so my Rhino has a march. My uh, tactical, my Marines have a march. Points on display are wrong. Four, eight. Nine ten? No, points on display are right. They're correct. <laughs> uh, then I've got. Uh, oh, that's wrong. That was uh, supposed to be. That can go there then. Uh, I've got an advance on my uh, Titan. So this Sorry, Titan right here is advancing. Got the wrong one on there. Advance. This should also be an advance, and both of these should be charges. So. This is moving out of the way. Yep, that is my my side. All right, uh, I expected the charge here and charge here. This will be harder to get in combat, but these guys moving 10. Come get that objective. Yeah, okay. I mean, they actually have a good chance of killing tanks. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Um, all right, so for my orders, my tanks here hmm. have the first fire objective. Nice. So I'm basically threatening anything that they can see, which is a considerable amount. Yeah. Uh, my Bane Blade has an advance. 
My Malkadors have an advance. Mm -hmm. My Titan, of course, advance. It's the mm -hmm. best thing to give it at this point. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about charging, but not this turn. Uh, the guys back here, the infantry with my commander is also going to advance. Mm -hmm. And my Sentinels are also going to advance. Got it. Oh, sorry. And then, of course, both of these... Oh, you stole my charge order. Charge order. That's what it is. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so both of my units inside the big buildings here are both charging. Charging. Okay. Charge! Okay. Uh, so now that we've revealed, uh, next step is to go initiative. So someone doesn't have initiative for the entire game. You test every single start of the battle round. Yeah. Um, I will get plus one if we tie uh, because you went first last time. Yes. So then I rolled a six. There's a very good chance that I'm going first. You're going first, or do you want to go first? You can give me first turn if you want to. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's advantageous to see the other person move. What if a few models had mini cams in them to get? Oh, that'd be so freaking cool. That would be pretty awesome. Here, yeah, don't don't cut to this camera. Let me make this go really mini, and you can see it down their point of view. That'd be kind of fun. Well, ta Tax thinking of moving here. I'll watch that move. Oh, I forgot I did that to that. that let's, uh, yeah, we can get. You, you moved already? Nope. Well, do it. No, 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 no. Do, do your move while I get the setup. Otherwise, it's boring. Well, I'm just uh, more so. My issue is uh, you've got charges with your ogrens and your charges with yes. uh, your axemen, both of which are incredibly scary, right? Um, so you've kind of forced my hand to kind of consider. Okay, now, sw now switch to Tycho. There we go. That's a cooler shot. How am I going to deal with that? You're considering these guys, right? Huh? You're considering these guys right now? Nope. I'm considering the... Oh, the Kratos is back here. Because uh, they have the ability to just wipe out those tanks in close combat. Hmm. Uh, close combat, again, in this game is incredibly brutal. Um, so, yeah. I'm not loving it. I am not loving it whatsoever, Nick. <laughs> There's just so much firepower over I know! There. Please, come bring your Kratos out to play so I can kill them all! Every single game we've played so far, the Kratos has just sat there all the game and killed me. Uh, yeah, and so this time around, you have uh, you have made sure that you can get your sweet, sweet revenge, right? Sweet, sweet revenge. Here comes the Kratos movement. So if I'm there, 20. Nope. But I might be able to move. What I'm trying to do here is move in a way where I can get shots on at least the Titan. Um, while also trying to get away from 10 inches, which is uh, your charge with uh, that unit. <laughs> uh, you have to measure to the exact edge of that. Um, of that. Of the building. Because you measure to the building. Yeah. Which okay. is rough. Oh, that's what they meant by the points are wrong. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Oh, as in the points are on the wrong players. Oh, well. Yeah. So that's your range right there. That is my range right there. Okay. Yeah. So everything. Uh, so the Kratos cannons are now in range. I'll be able to fire you. So if you don't move them, I'm gonna be able to shoot them. Hmm. That Titan probably goes here. Yep. Mm. And then now I've got rear, rear facing. So if you're behind, if you have anti or AP and anti tank, you're able to score an additional AP versus a rear armor of uh, vehicles and Titans. My Ogren are going to charge your Dreadnoughts. Okay. Nothing I can do about it. Ogrens are going to charge. Uh, let's measure this out. So you measure from any point in the building. And my intent is to at the very least move blocky going this way. Okay. So I should be able to go like this, mm -hmm. this, this, and this. So these are all the Ogren. Okay. You shoot that side camera there, that sweet side camera there, you can see it all. So, well, at least now we get to uh, show the audience what, a, um, what combat looks like. And I tell you right now, combat looks brutal. Yes. All right. So that's my action. They've charged. I don't know where my charge action is, but it's, it's there. Sure. <laughs> uh, you don't lose your charge token, but it doesn't really mean much. You are not pinned, however, because you are a higher class. There's a size class yep. and you are a higher size class than me. 
I'm I'm engaged and pinned, but you are not pinned. Which, 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 which means you can still shoot? Uh, which means I can also make a uh, pollen move um, and get somebody into uh, combat that Versus I want. Versus this dreadnought back here could bring in. And then when I do that, I get the charge bonus. Yeah. You can do that even if you're pinned, but it, that's uh, the, the point is that you can still shoot because mm -hmm. uh, you're not pinned. Yeah. Uh, correct. You're, you're a bigger base. You don't care about all these little guys whopping at your shins. But Although, he is engaged, he can't cooperate. Uh, he can, actually, because he's bigger. Uh, uh, you have to be pinned. So, like, if infantry charge infantry, they're both pinned. It's yeah. basically the same size class. Yeah. You can just go charge off on his own. Uh, I, if he wants yeah, to. but I can't walk over his bases. Yes, he can't walk uh, over my bases, which is why I charge like that to make it tough for him to, like, for instance, charge my knight or my titan or something like that, mm -hmm. or get on the objective if if he really wants to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to then issue a charge with uh, this unit here, yep. and they're going to charge your Lehman Russes, which you like to Overwatch. Uh, with the Lehman Russes is a bunch of las guns, <sighs> hitting on sixes. Yeah. Um. No, but I will Overwatch with the Bane Blade. He has a whole bunch of point defense weapons. So at, okay. as you get in the open over here, charging Lehman Russes, the Bane Blade is going to give up his advance. Mm -hmm. He won't be able to move or fire later this round. Okay. He's going to fire all of his weapons. And he has a whole bunch of point defense weapons, which don't suffer a negative to hit for Overwatch. Okay. So starting it off, Bane Blade Cannon, which does suffer a negative two on a six. Nope. Uh, the Coaxial Auto Cannon on a six. Nope. The Hull Mounted Demolisher uh, Cannon on a six. Yes, that hits. Oh no. Uh, uh, minus get... three. It's not anti-tank. Okay, so it just kills a base. Kills a base. Okay. Excellent. Now these are all considered here. So let's move them just for purposes of viewership. Okay. Um, 10 inches is here. I'll leave the one that was closest so you know what range you have. You can basically, oh wow, you can really only get one guy in. Uh, and then I can pile, right? Yeah, you, uh, no, pile in is, in move is, you, you don't. Oh, right. You That's can't true. pile in. Yeah. Are you sure you want to charge? You can only get one base in. Um, but you have fire first, right? They have first fire, yes. So, I, I can still fire. It doesn't stop me from firing, because uh, because I'm a bigger weight class than you. So the only thing you get to do is put one guy in base. That, that, you know what? I am going to charge. Uh, so you could still. Oh, well, she maybe not, because I'm just going to charge the Ogren. That makes a lot more sense, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, can I still see you with the Bane Blade? The no. Bane Blade can see here. So as you chart, pass through here. Yeah, then you're still able to kill. So but, I'm still over to what we're But now it's, uh, now it's ranges is an issue. Yeah, the Demolisher Cannon is 14. So yeah, so then that would have killed one. All right, so then on to the point defense weapons, which might not be in range. Um, I don't know if I want to do this, though, because the point defense weapons are only uh, 12 and 16 inches. Yeah, I'm not in range with anything else. It's just Demolisher Cannon. So I'm not going to overwatch because... Okay, then I don't. you don't kill base. Yeah. And sorry to all the people watching, uh, we are still very much learning, yeah. learning the game. Yeah. Okay. That would have been great. I like because so so you guys know he has a uh, hull mounted heavy bolter turret which with two dice, and then he has heavy bolter sponsors with another four dice, and these are all hitting on fives rather than sixes, mm -hmm. and any of them would kill one of the, one of his guys. Mm -hmm. So it was a potential of killing like half the squad. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's so fine. So over to you. Okay. Uh, yeah, what do I want to do now? I guess, okay, so you abandon this objective. It's still yours until someone takes it over. Correct. If I put the Titan on it, it's contested. Yes. Because the Titan only has an OC tactical strength of zero. So I can't take it away from me. I have to be double your tactical strength. Yeah. So if I got the tanks on it, then I've got it from you. Mm. So let's go with the Titan. Yeah, let's go with the Titan. Yeah. You've already moved those Kratoses? Yeah. So the Titan is going to move and stomp right to here. It's going to blow up this terrain feature. Okay. And the point here is that I'm obscured from those Kratoses 50%. Yep. Yeah. So the minus one to hit. So that you're minus two to hit me. 25 is, oh, is, yeah. is one. Uh, 50 is 2%. Mm -hmm. uh, this is only for Titans. Titans can be obscured by terrain and thus get a minus to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, everything else doesn't get obscured by terrain. You either can see it or not. It keeps it a little simpler. Yes. Um, you have to be in the terrain to receive any kind of bonus. Right. Uh, but it also allows me to fire at you uh, with, without any impediments. 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 Uh, 16 inches. So I can fire the Melta Lance at you. Excellent. Melta Lance will... No. Melta Lance is only 14 inches. So I will not be firing any Melta Lance at you. 
But I will be firing melt at these dreadnoughts because they're a different weight class, which means they're not pinned, which means I can fire at them. Right. Um, great. He's moved. Your move. My move. Okay. I still uh, have a charge token on these guys, just to be clear. Yep. There's some guy the infantry in the guy in the guys infantry in the building right here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to then activate. Uh... Yep. I'm going to do it. I'm going to activate that unit. I'm going to change their march to a charge, and I'm going to charge your uh, sentinels. All right, so the regular guys, one guy, two guys could probably get in. Um, your jump pack guys, which you have in there, right? Yep. They move 14, and both of them can get in. So yes. you can get them all the way to the corner. Yep. So it'll so be... I'm guessing your two Terminators? And my... Uh, yeah. yeah. So you've got six guys in there. So let's put your jump pack guys. They jump so far, 14 inches. And these guys, that's a jump pack unit. And that's the Terminator. There's the Terminator. Both and of them then, get base contact uh, over here. Then everybody else is, has to go with them. Yeah, um, but they won't be able to make it because no, there's not enough room to get in there. But that's okay because what I want is I just want them to be behind that uh, building so that they are uneligible to be shot. Now, hopefully. I'm not in pin, which means I could just move away from you, mm -hmm. but I can't move through you. So I was hoping to go take the objective. I know you were. But I won't be able to now. Yep. Uh, how many bases is there? Uh, you've got four. You need two, two more guys there. Two more infantry. Or sorry, three more infantry. Because yep. you have your general there, you need three more infantry there. Okay, so and there's three more. And I just want them behind the building so that you can't see me. Unless this was your squad. But is this your squad with missile launchers? No, that's all. Uh, that was a mistake. Right, there's right, only... yeah. Yeah, unless this is your squad with the two extra guys. Or is this the squad with the two extra guys? Uh, no, that's the squad with the... Uh... Like, where are those guys? Uh, no, the two extra guys were over yeah, here. Yeah, okay, so you got, yeah. you got many more extra guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you've got a full complement there. All right, fair enough. Uh, where's this place then? I should be over there too then. Oh, probably, yeah. Because you didn't kill yeah, anybody, one, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you need one more. There you okay. go. So you got a big whack of stuff there. Yep. Um, with that in mind, I'm going to... to could I try pointed one of your sentinels so that you would not be able to move them out? You could do this. Because you can't move across my guys. I have 14 inch move though. Yeah, but you can't move through my guys, you have to go around them. Yeah, so did I have enough to get around? Yeah, you're stuck by the base here, because you can't be inside of yes, it. Yes, 14 is from that, is way over there. I bet you I could have moved yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, you're around. So, no, you, you can go here, I just, you can't go here. No, no, but if I try point one of your bases, he needs to be in coherency. Yeah. You can't get away from that. No, it looks like I can't go, get out of you. Yeah. I can't just move away. Yep. Um, great. This game, um, Okay. Okay. Uh, well, these guys are going to move three inches up. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my my infantry, my auxiliary infantry with my commander attached to it, mm -hmm. are... What's the range of their weapons? It's really small. Their weapons are only 10 inches. So I'm going to move up here. Okay. So I'm in range, but not in line of sight of that titan that might want to kill me. Okay. Uh, and I might try to get some flamer, or sorry, some shots onto that unit. Shots on the unit because the combat happens first. So they've just moved up a little bit. Uh, Your turn. Thank you, Taylor. I've got people cheering for me. Yay. Go, Tac, go. Who at play on is the best strategist? Um, uh, I think we all have different strengths. We do, yeah. Different strengths um, of, of strategy. So I might be able to kill out those bases, and if I kill them out, um, then you don't have a lot of shots on my rhinos here. That's true. Uh, though that uh, thing is sticky, and what I don't want to do is have you charge onto it, which it does, doesn't look like you can. No, no, I won't be able to do that. So with a massive march order on my rhinos, the best thing I can do is move their whopping... Roger's going to run away. I'm parking there. Run away with the rhinos! So that you can't shoot them. And if I need to go get that objective later, I've got an option to do that. So that would be them. Tycho, let me know if you ever want me to move that camera, and I'll move the camera to give it, give another shot. Let's do it. Well, you, you tell me well, when you want it. Let's do it. Uh, to where? Do, do your uh, activation first, and then on my activation, you can move it. OK. Um, so you haven't moved the Titan yet. Nope. You haven't moved those guys yet. Nope. You, but you have moved. So that's, that's almost everything. So these guys have first fire. So they're actually great great spot to do. Destroy yeah. some Kratos's actually. Um, I think the Bane Blade 
wants to go support this way against the infantry over here. It actually got really decent infantry killing weapons. Mm -hmm. So it's going to go over here. Uh, only eight inches with its infantry killing weapons, though, right? Uh, 12 inches with one of them. Uh, 12 inches with the infantry killing weapons. Okay. With the heavy bolters? Yeah. Uh, what do I... Uh, eight inches are these twi twin uh, twin bolters. Anish, can you blow up buildings? Yes, you can. 100%. It's a lot of fun, but uh, we can't keep Being completely do different it. factions, how well balanced does the game feel between Auxilia and Marines? Uh, pretty balanced, actually. Pretty balanced, because in this case, he just has a lot more volume with his tanks. His tanks are cheaper. Um, your turn. Move your Sakarans. So that's the last unit you have to activate. Or your, or your Titan. Up to you. Mm -hmm. uh, Sakarans are... Point out your, your Sakarans for us. My Sakarans are right here. So my Sikarans are also very good at taking out uh, infantry. The rulebook does have all the rules for the units that are currently out for this game. They even have rules for units that are not currently in this game. So there possibly might be expansions in the future, but as of right now, the rulebook is all you need. Mm -hmm. They do have data cards you can buy separately, and that's what we're using today. It has made it a lot easier, so if you can get your hands on them, I think that would be useful. I think it is time to try to overload. Who is that Nick is playing? I'm playing the Solar Auxilera, but they're allied to the Death Guard. All right, here comes the Sakarans. Sakarans, yeah. They're going to lend their support against the Titan? I think they're going to try to lend their support The problem with the what the Sakarans have is they're really actually anti-infantry. They are, yeah. So they want to be shooting or anti the... Or anti-light vehicle. So they're good against like the Sentinels or... Yeah. Yeah. So they're kind of. Uh, they do have last cannons. That's true. They they can do some damage. They can do some damage. Great for stripping off a void shields. Correct. So they're going to go here, um, so that they are less obscured by that. Um, you're pretty much not obscured. Uh, it's really hard to say. Okay. And then uh, and that's it. So you basically we're just going to have a big fight right here. Uh, he's going to move back that way. I just don't want to be in charge range of the Axeman. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, right. The Axeman can still charge. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. That would actually be a decent thing. Yeah. So, if I take the Axeman out of this building, this becomes OC. This, uh, I don't control this. It'll become contested if you leave your Titan there. Yes. Unless I put some tanks on it. Yes. Um, hmm. I think... I think these guys want to just charge your infantry. Okay. So all my axemen are going to get out and charge, and they're going to charge your infantry. That's going to be a big... That's going to be a big bloody fight. Mess there. Ma -ha -ha, let's kill oh, your boy. infantry. Uh, you roll three dice to my two, so there's a good chance I'm just dead. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Uh, then with my charge move here... These will count as base contact with him because this is a barricade. They yes. Could be, they could yeah. be an inch away. Yep. Uh, so with my charge move off Are of... Are they ever, ever going to roll any dice? We're doing the movement phase, and in the movement phase, there's no dice. But there's a lot of tactical back and forth. So with the charge move, I'm able to do a pile, which I piled and got, brought that dreadnought into combat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I activate the first fire, and they, they activate. And they stay no, there. No, no, you've got your Malkador's move. Uh, no, I'm waiting for the Titan. I just charged here. I saying? know. Now I'm going to do the first fire ah, and okay. activate so that you have to move your Mal your Titan so I know where it goes. Damn it. <laughs> I can also do them too. The Sentinels, yeah. yeah. I can also yeah. do the Sentinels too. But So that that is a, uh, uh, somebody was asking about balance. If you build a list where the, the Auxilia just have a lot more units, you have activation control, which is a big deal in an alternating activation game. Yeah. TAC has a really big, super heavy unit of all those Kratoses. Like, they are really powerful tanks. And they're mm -hmm. hard to kill because they have two wounds each. Mm -hmm. And two wounds in this game is a lot. Like, it's... And it, with the two-up save, like, that's... It's tough to shift. Where is he going? You can see a lot there. Yeah. You could actually one-shot the Bane Blade. I could. With the Ursus Claw. Yep. <laughs> okay. 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 So, so, you know what I want to do? Sorry. You want to... Uh, I'm going to destroy that thing. 
That's I'm smart. Go there. That's smart. Because then what I want is I want to make sure that your Malkadors yes. can't traverse I was, that. If you had gone here, I would totally take the Malkadors, take, a, put, take the objective away from you. Yeah. Well, not only that, I don't want you shooting my rear arc. Yeah. Well, so now I actually, even though they can fit in this space here, I actually can't because all units have a, like a one inch zone of control around them that you can't move into unless you're charging. Correct. Um, so I can't actually sneak in there and take the objective, even though I really wanted to. So knowing that, uh, can you see my, my Bane Blade from there? Uh, no, because that's infinite, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, so. Bane Blade's safe. Knowing that, I'm going to make it so that you can't shoot your Ursus Claw at all. And I'm going to move the Malkadors up, and they'll lend their fire support against the Kratoses. Okay. Ugh, it's too big of a building. I can't control the objective with the Malkadors. I just I give up the objective. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm playing the long game here. Are, are you four inches from that corner? Uh, do I mean proxying? Yes. Uh, the, the, the book has universal special rules rather than special rules attached to the, like, on the miniature itself so that you could assign special rules as you feel they would fit. And so it'd be actually really easy to make to make uh, proxy units. I really want to make a proxy tower army. All right, uh, over to you. I have nothing else to move. I click them, they don't do anything, and then we move on to the combat phase. Uh, which starts with fire first. So which you I do have one right here. So first fire gets to fire before close combat and mm -hmm. before all the other shooting. Mm -hmm. So that's why I did this, because all of these Vanquisher cannons, I think the regular LAS guns will be out of range at 22. Uh, 22 is here. Oh, so, so if, I, if I fired in the Sakarans, I'd be in range. But I don't want to fire in the Sakarans. I want to fire the Vanquisher Cannons at the Kratoses. So I'm going to fire everything from here into the Kratoses and only do the Vanquisher Cannons. Okay. Oh, so that's still six of them. Yeah, that's six That's six Vanquisher Cannons. They hit them fours. They do. Um, each one has Armor Bane and anti two, minus two. It's yep. really good. It's really good. Here you we go. Not if I roll like that. Only two. Uh, two, but they're AP two, right? They're AP two. So they go. I go to a four up. So this is the magic of armor bane. Uh, Any successfuls have to be rerolled. So sorry that it is touch watch of scale. Uh, we are going to work on when it's not a live stream on a regular to make it much more easy to watch. Visible, yeah. So AP two, they have a two up save, which goes to a four. Uh, so I fail it. So that is one wound. Of and two. Then, of two. I got a chance at a four here. I make it, however, with armor, armor bane. bane. You have to reroll your successes. No! Oh! So you take one. All move. those vanquishers do nothing. Okay, first fire is done. Um, and even though there's and other things in range of the last cannons, like one option is I could have fired everything into this Titan. That's kind of tempting, to be honest. Maybe I should have. That many vanquishers? Maybe I should have. With the last guns? Oh, I yep. totally should have. Yep. Why did I not do that? I'm okay with it. Oh, yeah. All the. All, all the last guns, uh, the last, last cannons would have damaged the shields, and then all the Vanquisher cannons. Oh, yep. yeah. Yep. I'm okay with it. Darn I, it! I am okay with it. It was my opportunity. It was my chance. It was. Um, all right. Then we go. Um, so everything with the fire first has gone. Yeah. Next up is actually combat. Yeah. So we won't get to try everything else until combat's happened. Um, so with combat, it kind of all happens at the same time. The person with initiative pairs off everything so that it's as much as possible one-on-one -on -one or one-on-multiple. It'll never be multiple-on-multiple. -multiple. Uh, so uh, over here, for instance, you have three miniatures in base contact with one sentinel, and you have one terminator base in contact with one sentinel. So it's going to be a three-on-one and a one-on-one. -on -one. Yep. And then over here, we have one, two, three, four uh, on one ogren. And then I'm going to, this is where I can choose his initiative. I'm going to split it up differently because I don't want this one more on the ogren. I have initiative. Uh, no, I do. I do. You had an initiative last time. I thought I had initiative. Oh, whatever. Okay, how do you want to split I, it up? I wrote a six. Right, you did. <laughs> how do you want to split it up? So, because uh, this this dreadnought could be either attached to this battle or this battle because he's touching both of them. Right. Um, but then, because you have to pair, yeah, I want your Ogryn to fight uh, that one. Okay. So, uh, I want the dreadnought to be paired with uh, that Ogryn. And all That's the infantry. also uh, three infantry or four infantry squads. Four infantry and a dreadnought against one ogren. Yep. Then I've got uh, this dreadnought has to be against uh, that ogren. Yeah. This dreadnought has to be with against that ogren. And it'll um, be one on one, one on one, one on one, and one on one. Uh, or yes. sorry, this will be two on one. This right here, because oh, you said him into here. Yep. Okay. Um, Where do you want to start? So there is a very good chance that I I lose this battle. Statistically on dice, it could be. I, I unfortunately, I lose this battle because it depends on how many bases were lost. I got more bases in com in combat, but let's fight. <sighs> let's fight. Um. Okay. So then, where do you want to start with? I will start with uh, 
the first the rocket launcher launchers? into that Ogren. Ogrens normally get two dice. Mm -hmm. um, you, basically, we each roll two dice and uh, add those dice together. The highest total value wins the fight and kills the other guy. It does one wound to the other guy, mm -hmm. which all these things that just have one wound, they'll all die. Yeah. Uh, however, Ogren have an ability called rend on their weapons, really strong weapons, which means they get three dice at the total. Too much they shape. also charge, which means they get plus one to the charge. And then, and then every data sheet has a CAF bat of value. That's how good they are at fighting. And you add that value as well. So Ogren are decent at fighting and they have a CAF of three up. Which I have a CAF of two. So, so I need you to roll very low on three dice. Yes. If you could for me, please. I rolled four, five, six, seven, plus charge, eight, plus CAF, nine, 10, 11. So I have a total of 11 that you need to beat on two dice. Okay. Um, so I have a CAF of uh, two, uh, but I also charge. So I actually have a three. Yeah. Sprint and kills, thank you very much. Appreciate uh, so it. I rolled a, a total of six. You rolled terribly. So that one. Uh, it was the missile launchers. It was the missile launchers. They die. Now there are th still three bases and a dreadnought attached to that Ogren. You still get to you still have to fight with them one on one at a time until the Ogren or the other side is dead. However, because there's multiples on one, you now get to roll an extra dice for every time it's a multiple. So this time it'll be three dice, mm -hmm. then four dice, then five dice, then six dice. So I'll just go with my regular tactical uh, with three sure. dice. Sure. I still get three dice because I have rend. Mm -hmm. So I've got a total of ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? Uh, <gasps> nope. Uh, so that is eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're tied, we're tied. which means nothing happens. Yep. Uh, and they just bounce against each other. Okay. Then we go to the next one. So that would now be, you get four dice. Now that would be the uh, rocket launcher squad. Hi. <laughs> six, seven, eight. I only rolled an eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh no! I have a total of twelve. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ah! Oh, okay, so you finally beat me. My guy goes away. The rest of the guys just uh, just fizzle. They don't get to fight anything else. Correct. Um, so then, my ogre is dead. Okay. Uh, then we'll go. Uh, I guess we'll do the big fancy stuff for the uh, for the audience. Dreadnought onto ogre. All right. I get three days because I have rend. Oh. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. You need a 19. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, the highest I could, oh no, they have a cap of five. Yeah. So you rolled 15? Yeah. Well, I rolled six, uh, six, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, so, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah. Uh, you have 18. Uh, I could actually beat it. Okay. I just need to roll really, really high Yes, here. let's see it. Die, Seven. Dreadnought. Seven plus six. Nope. That's 13. Yeah. Kill the Dreadnought with Ogren. They mauled it to death. Okay. Next Dreadnought against Ogren. I got... Ooh. Oh, no. Do you, I don't think you can beat that. Do you have to roll that good? Yes. That was, yes. Okay. 17. Die. 17. Oh, that's, that's just with dice. Then add another four. 17 21. plus four, so 21. You can't, I don't think you can do that. Six, 12. Uh, you don't get the charge bonus because you didn't move. Uh, that guy did. Oh, sorry, that guy did. He um, moved at least one inch. So, but the best I could do is 19. So Dreadnought down. Yep. And then we have a bunch of one-on-ones, uh, except for this two-on-one, because I've got Ogren against your uh, infantry there. Yes. So where do you want to go first? Uh, we'll go Ogren into infantry. Just Augur see if you can kill him, because okay. that takes away the axe man, right? All right, 5, 10, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, no way I can do anything about it. Excellent. So they're dead. Uh, uh, next axe man into infantry. Plasma. Now the axe men, the infantry axe men, also get an Rent, extra dice. Yeah. They fight just as good as the uh, Ogren, except they don't have as good of a calf, yep. uh, which is the combat value. Mm -hmm. So their calf is just plus one instead of plus three. Mm -hmm. So this... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus one for charging, and plus another one. So 12, 13. 13? Roll a 13. Uh, it's possible it's because you're rolling two dice. Now, now it's possible. Nope. Nope. Killed the plasma squad. Plasma squad dead. You've now got a regular tactical squad there mm -hmm. against another infantry. Of Axemen, yeah. Of Axemen. I got 14, 15, 16, 17. 17? You can't beat it. Uh. Three for Blood Angels, uh, for three because I made a charge move. You can get 16 maximum. I can get 16 maximum. Yeah. Yep. So, so I killed it. another one. And then the next Axe Squad against Plasma Squad. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah. Uh, oh, 11 total. Yeah, 11 total. Nope, not nope. like that. 
Infantry guard! Slice, slice. So to be clear, I lost one stand of ogrins. You lost uh, two, I've got, I've got, uh, two dreadnoughts and five marines. Yep, so I've got morale. Morale test for both. On the marines. They nope, fail. they fail. So they uh, have their charge change to fallback. Yep. Uh, and they have to withdraw. Yeah. Um, and then I've got a... Uh, morale test on the... Dreadnought, which three... I believe it's I a fail that's as well. a fail. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, they've got a three. Oh, great. Most things are a four up. So that was fantastic. So so the Marines running away means they might continue to just run off the board. Mm -hmm. uh, so at the end of the... So they have to withdraw right now. Yeah. So they go... Uh, uh, I think just a single move? Uh, for withdrawal from combat, I believe it's a single move. It's a little bit different than a morale morale test. Uh, but it's, yeah. For now, just move back a bit. Get out of there! So we're just going to do that. And then we have some more fights over here, the Sentinels. Now this, you have a bit better of a, a, better of a time. Yep. Do you want to do the one-on-one first? Your, your Terminators versus my Sentinel? Sure. My Sentinel only gets two dice, he gets no bonus. I rolled a five. There's my double sixes. There you go. Sentinel destroyed. Okay. Uh, then the jump pack, which I think have a uh, rend. Uh, jump pack. Uh, I don't know if they have rend. No, they don't. Yeah. Uh, two jump pack units. Well, do you, well, you have terminators, jump pack, jump pack into a sentinel. Um, sure. So I'll just go with the jump pack first. Yep. You beat me. You killed. You killed them. Even yep. though I rolled the same as you, you have a higher calf. Okay. So you have killed my sentinel. Uh, oh, sorry. You have one more uh, jump pack into one more sentinel. Right. Uh, so I get two dice, add nothing, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Oh, God. Uh, Whoa! You beat me. Whoa, I killed one! Sentinel squash your assault terminators, or assault intercessors, or assault marines. There are no intercessors. <laughs> but that is how brutal... 10,000 years away. Uh, uh, that is half, though. That is half the squad, which means my sentinels have to take a morale test. Mm -hmm. uh, they are running. They got a fallback order, and uh, they'll be running away as well. Uh, but for the person that was wondering about rolling dice and when the action was going to begin, uh, I'm hoping that was a decent amount of action for everybody. So a bunch of stuff just died. Yeah. Um, one thing that opens up for me, because now we go into the advance and the firing uh, ability, mm -hmm. is now these guys are now open up to be shot yeah. by these guys. Yep. And that's what I was counting on. That's why I moved them in place to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. But you have initiative, so you go first. I get to shoot first. Um, yes. Okay. Okay? Yep. You okay? We're good? We good with We're this? good. We're good. Okay. We're good. Uh, all so, right, So, what do you want to shoot with, oh, shoot with first? Only two of my Kratos can see the Malkadors. I think. Oh, it's just a D6 move for your guys. So my oh. Sentinels are six inches away, so it's okay. just one inch less. And they don't actually get the fallback order. It's just because they lost the fight. Oh, I only moving four. So I'm moving an extra inch back. Yeah. Check. Staff, you're being reminded by Tigerman85X uh, that you still gotta go and kick Dave's ass around. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to fire the Ursus Claw. Ha! He can't. I made it too far away. He did. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, moving. <laughs> yeah. Just supporter. I want to tell you guys that I think you do the best tabletop war game. Oh, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. It means a lot. Uh, uh, just you want, want to say thanks. Appreciate you all up there. Thank you so much, guys. You're you're all rock. Um. All right. So, what are you gonna fire? I am going to fire my Sakaran squad before the Malkadors say something about it <laughs> uh, because they're very good at killing infantry. And the infantry are now out in the open. They are. It's a great call. Um, so, uh, because what the last thing I need You is... cannot shoot the Ogren though because they're still pinned. They're touching that, uh, that Dreadnought yep. who didn't run away. Who did not run away. That's fine. Uh, I dislike your Axemen and how hard they punch. <laughs> they punch so freaking hard. Uh, then I've got Spawn. And then I've got the twin accelerator. Right. So here we go. So Karens are going into your Axemen, your Vanitaris. I'm going to go with the twin accel uh, auto accelerator cannons first. I hit uh, twice. Tw two times at AP1, so two bases are dead. 
Uh, y yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it AT? AP? Uh, it's got no uh, keyword. Okay, then yeah, it goes right through. Kills him. Kills okay. two of the Gaxmen. Uh, then I've got the um, the sponson or the hull mounted uh, head vultures. So then I've got uh, hitting on fives. Uh, two at AP one, so the unit is wiped. Okay. Yep. All the axemen are gone. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now my turn to fire. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't fire with any of those guys, so I'm not worried about it. You can still fire with the Kratoses. Um, so the Malkadors will try to kill one of the Kratoses, so they just have less firepower. Okay. The Malkadors are firing everything into the Kratoses. Mm -hmm. Their last cannons hits once at minus one. Okay. Uh, so I've got a three up. Nope. Kill the uh, Kratos! How does that work? Because it did take a wound on him. I can still see him. Can you see him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, two Vanquisher cannons. Hits once at minus two. Uh, so I have a four. Here. I'm okay. Uh, it's Armor Bane, though. You gotta reroll it. Oh, okay. Armor Bane. I'm okay. Ah, get out of here. Okay. Vanquisher's uh, done. Your turn. So then only two of mine can see the uh, Vanquishers? Uh, sure. Yeah. Because I don't think I can take down a Titan. Oh, you can try. Nope. You can try. Uh, all right. So then my, um, my. Kratos are going to go into your uh, Malkadors. So I've got two Laz Cannon Sponsons I can fire. I've got two Kratos uh, Laz Cannon screens fire. My Coaxel, I don't think can actually hurt uh, them. They do have Light AT. They actually can. But are they in range? <laughs> Only one is in range with the Coaxel. Uh, so that is a... Additional two dice, and then uh, my Kratos Battle Cannons, two of them can see. So we'll go with the Kratos Battle Cannons first, and uh, I'm hitting on fours. What does a normal Space Boy look like compared to Imperialis Boy? I'll show ya! Alright, uh, so take two, four AP1s. Four AP1s on which? The Malkadors. The Malkadors. Alright, so they have a two-up save. Uh, are you sure? No, oh, right, the Malkadors are not the same. I think they're three. Yep, they're three ups. So, three, four ups. Save two of them, two go through. Malkadors have two wounds each. You've killed the front one. Okay. Uh, and then they have to take a morale test because you killed half the no, squad. No, uh, I've got more shots. Oh, okay, fine. And so, because I've got the Cradle Slash Cannon as well as the Sponson Last Cannons. This is an example for the side camera, Tycho, of a Marine, an Alpha Legion Marine against a squad of infantry. If you can see the side camera. There you go. Um, all right. So I got, do they hit on fours or? Uh, the last guys do hit on fours. So two more at AP1. Uh, two more at AP1 on fours. Save, save one of them. One goes through. I've got one wound remaining on that Malkador. Okay, then I've got a, uh, uh, then I've got the Coaxel. Coaxel on fives. On, f on fives and uh, you would get your regular save against us. Uh, one, so don't roll a- One three up. I save it. The Malkador's alive. But now you take morale. Now I take a morale test for the Malkador here. I fail. You fail. That means the Malkador gets replaced with a fallback order. Thankfully, yep. I already fired. Which mm -hmm. means at the end of the round, they're going to be running away. Mm -hmm. Okay. My turn, right? Uh, now it's your turn. Yep. Okay. Uh, that is fire. We're going to go with the Titan. The okay. Titan is going to fire. It's going to split fire. Titans are one of the only things that can split fire. But the targets have to be four inches apart from each other. Yeah. So it's going to fire its missiles at these infantry, try to wipe them out. Mm -hmm. And it's going to fire it. It's going to split fire its other gun, its um, Inferno Cannon, at the Dreadnought in combat. Aren't we pinned? Because you said we're pinned. We, I'm pinned. You are not. Ah, okay. You are a higher weight class. Basically, you're bigger. Okay. You're, you're bigger than I am. All right. I hope I explode in your face. You can't. I know. No explosion. For you. <laughs> uh, three up at this range for the Inferno Cannon against... Oh, it misses! Yay! But it's accurate, so I get to reroll it. Oh, do you? Yeah, it hits. Okay. It's uh, minus four billion. Uh, so uh, the... It's anti-tank though, so I don't get the minus. Uh, however, you're not infantry, so then... I'm a walker. Yeah, so I still get the minus, so minus four. Sure. Can't do anything about that. Nope. You die. Yep. All right, then eight shots from the missile launchers. Sixes give me two hits mm -hmm. against these three guys right here. <laughs> that is four hits. This is light AT, mm -hmm. which means I still get my minus against you. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, minus one. Minus one. Uh, so my incredible five-up save goes to sixes. <laughs> so uh, four of them, right? In this scale, it's a pretty true representation. So you wipe the squad. Excellent. The whole squad of Marines is just wiped. Get out of here. 
That is the power of a titan. Just eliminate two squads like that. Yep. I mean, that is uh, lore accurate. Very, very lore accurate. What is not lore accurate is your your axemen being that good against Marines. It was aw well, they hit them in the back. They were busy fighting Ogren, and then they came in behind them, snuck oh. up behind them, hit them on the head. They do that even when they're not hitting the back. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, okay, uh, your turn. Okay. What else you got? Uh, so that would be my um, Titan is the <coughs> only thing left. So I get one shot against uh, one of your Lehman Russes. Right here? Yeah, with your Inferno uh, uh, Melta Lance. Uh, that oh, is a miss, but it's accurate. accurate. Yep, so we'll try again. I don't know why I picked up the same dice, because it did the same oh, thing. Oh, no. Your Titan sucks. But it's alive. Yes, it is alive. Okay, so I still have a few few things to fire. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, I have my unit of... I'm going to fire the Bane Blades, because these guys can see more. Mm -hmm. Bane Blade can only see the two Terminators and the Jump Packs. Yep. So that means they can't do damage to the rest of the stuff. Whereas mm -hmm. these guys can see more. Yes. Uh, so, right here, Bane Blade Cannon. Hitting on a four. That's a miss. Hellhammer Cannon. That's a miss. <laughs> Coaxial Auto Cannon. That's a miss. <laughs> These things are hitting on fives and fours. Mm -hmm. um, uh, hull mounted heavy bolter turret. Two dice. That's one hit. That's two hits. At AP one. No AP. No AP. No AP. Okay. Um, so then I'll try it on my Terminator because uh, he's got a four up. Ooh. Nope. And then you said another Terminator? No, two Terminators and a jump back. Okay. Uh, nope. Killed both Terminators. Yeah. And then I still have more Heavy Bolter Sponsons. Okay. Four dice with the Sponsons. I hit you once this time. Us. Uh, wait, Sponsons. Nope, they hit on fives. Wait, Bolter Sponsons. Yeah, hit on fives. So yeah. not, no hits there. Okay. So and then the last thing is Laz Cannon Sponsors. Sponsons hit you twice at, uh, at no minus. No minus. Because they're anti tank. There's no minus against infantry. So, but you hit me twice? Hit you twice. Sure. The uh, Bane Blade has not fired yet. That's the Bane Blade right there. There was a Malkador that fired before. Uh, so I rolled two twos. However, because of line of sight, the only thing you could kill was the one jump pack. Yeah. So then your turn to fire anything. You have left to fire. Nope. So then it's my turn again. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go with these infantry here. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 inch range. They're out of range. They're out of range. They're out of range. You know what? Killing all those guys made them out of range. Can't shoot anything. Cool. These guys are done. I gotta take the order token away. Uh, so luckily, I didn't lose half of my detachment, so there is no uh, no morale test. No morale it. test. Uh, but what I did kill is all your close combat guys in that squad, which means it's a little bit harder for you to wipe out this squad in close combat. It is. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we go into scoring, cool. or no, sorry, we go into uh, um, morale fallback. So we we do the fallback actions. I have one unit that is actually falling back. They did not fall back. They just withdrew. Okay. Um, uh, the the Malkador the right here in the center of the table is falling back, which means you just have to move double your movement. Just double, <laughs> which is 8 times 2, 16. And then you have to take a morale test. Uh, and, and see if I lose that fallback uh, yeah. token. Oh. Uh, if I was within range 6 inches, I could... Oh, is it Inspire 8? Just one second. One second. Inspire eight inches, which means I'm in range. I can use my commander's leadership, which is a two up, mm. which I pass. So, so he loses his fallback, which means he can act normally next round. I'll just spin him around so we can see that. Okay. Uh, I have no morale on my side. So yep. then we go into our Titans haven't taken any damage yet. Yep. So I'll take your one wound with you. So we go into scoring. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. So you... I Because you, had, you now have zero on this. Yep. So we can test. I have tactical strength of zero, yeah. which means I can't have double and take it from you, but I can contest it because you don't. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, See, similarly here. here. So these are contested. No one owns these, and this one is still stickied as yours because no one would be able to take it from you. Yeah. So I score uh, four points in the center, an additional two uh, for my home objective. Yeah. Nick only scores two. Yeah. Uh, so Nick goes to uh, eight, and I go to 16. So I am doubling you on points currently. Yep. But that was brutal. That was right a lot here. of death right there. Yeah. Okay, now order phase. Turn three, Taiko. Turn three. Turn three, and this should go uh, a bit faster. Are you because... guys enjoying this? What do you guys think about this game so far? I, I kind of really like Imperialis. I, do. I I do realize it's a little harder to see it, and we'll, we should do some stuff. We're going to do, hopefully, some stuff to make that a little bit easier in the future. Um, but yeah. 
So let's figure out what we want to do here. Uh, let's see. He needs to do that. He needs to do... Oh, those Titans are scary. That. 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 We'll take some of these first strikes. You're just going to do that with your uh, with your Lumen Restas the entire game, aren't you? They're in a good spot for it, they to are, be honest. They're in a very good spot, yeah. Um, that. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, this is tough to know what to do here. This is the most, probably the most nerve-wracking part of uh, this game is issuing okay. your orders. Done. Dumb my orders. Dumb my orders. How many battle rounds are there? Five. So we are in turn three. Uh, so update the software if you could there. Tycho, it still says round two. Unless you did already. Makes sense. And uh, yeah, there's five rounds of the game. And the, the game the rounds get quicker. Mm -hmm. Right, you ready? Uh, I am ready. I'm going to reveal mine. I'm going to yep. advance on the Titan. Yep. I'm going to march on the Ogren. Not charge. Oh. But you thought it was going to charge, didn't you? I'm going to advance uh, first fire on the Lehman Russes, meaning they get the fire but not move. Mm -hmm. I'm going to advance on the Baneblade. I'm going to advance on the infantry here. I'm going to advance the infantry here. And I'm going to... Sorry. Um, I haven't seen yours, so uh, this was intended to be a march. I just realized I put an advance down. Sure. Uh, march on the Sentinels. Sure. Uh, that should be a march on... Oh, sorry. My... Yeah, march on the Sentinels. Yeah. March on these guys? Yeah, that should be a march. Yeah. Uh, that is a march on the... Uh... Rhinos. Rhinos. Uh, that is a uh, advance there. These two should be advances on my Kratos and my Sakarans. And you've completely wiped I me out. I killed off. everything over there! Ma -ha -ha. It was, it's almost like you have carnage. <laughs> uh, Alright, so then uh, once we've revealed everything, we go into initiative. Got it. Uh, so we see who, which one of us has initiative. I only rolled a three. I rolled a six! So you have initiative. I'll take initiative this turn. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. So then you would move the first unit? Yes. Um, so I'm going to march first. And my Ogren are going to go 10 inches to here, and then 5 inches into the building and garrison the building. Okay. So I could take your objective. Would you like to overwatch as they get close enough? Uh, Fortunately, you're grouped with a bunch of las guns there. And coaxels and a whole bunch of other things, yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely. Overwatch. Overwatch. Yep. Okay, Overwatch. so as I'm here, you're watching. I'm just gonna put in the building for ease of camera. So the Ogren are in the building. Sure. And he's gonna. Uh, it would be the Kratos uh, tanks that are overwatching. Here, I'll give you a nice close-up shot of this, mm. so you can see it nice and close. Let's see if I've got some. Uh, if I've got some. There you go, take him. That's the shot right there. Fire away! Okay, so I will do the Kratos cans first. I'm looking for sixes here. I got one six, so uh, one at AP uh, one. One at AP one? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Oh, uh, they don't get an AP. They just have six up save. You killed one. Okay. Are you? They have a it. six up save? Yep. Oh, so anything with AP other than my last As cannons. long as it doesn't have AT. Okay. Yeah, anti-tank. Um, all right, then I'm going to take my last cannons. So there's uh, three sponsons as well as the three uh, three cradle slash cannons. They're basically the same profile, so I'm just yeah. going to roll them all at the same time. Uh, no, nothing from that. Excellent. I just need one to survive there and hold the objective. Uh, those were the last cannons, and then the coaxels. They um, are from real world models. Uh, Pocky John. Uh, I got them in a kit from Amazon with like a hundred different sizes, so I, I don't know what size they are. Please. Uh, I need two sixes here, and they're dead. Dominic Chamas, it wasn't, uh, they are not making this, they are, it's not a not a major order, so yeah, they might be out of stock right now, they, they're still selling this, so even if you miss the pre-orders, they're still, they're still going to be stock soon. Uh, I only killed one more. Oh, you killed one more. Okay. So. Okay, so I've got one left. What's your tactical strength? My tactical strength is five. Okay. So uh, you will have, I think those super heavies have one. So probably one, two, three if you're right there right now. Yeah. Uh, the, the little tanks might be two mm -hmm. each. So, but I do have to take a morale test for oh, losing half true. my miniatures. Yes. So I could run away right here and it won't even matter. So, come on, Into Brave Ogren! 
No, no, they're not brave enough. The Ogren are scared and run away. So my my epic charge, my move to try to steal his home objective and win me the game fails. Because that's, to be honest, the only thing I had going for me. <laughs> uh, so they get a fallback order, and then at the end of the round, they're going to run away. Yeah, which means they won't be on the objective. But your Kratoses lose their advance order to yeah. them. They kind of had to. Yep. Yeah, it, it was the right call, even mm -hmm. though it sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, it's going to suck for both of us. Die! I'm going to kill a bunch of Kratoses. Uh, you are going to try to kill a bunch of Kratoses. And go. Your turn. Uh, da, da, da. I should not have given them the first fire. I should have given them advance. That's going to bite me. Nope, nope, it's not the Bane Blade can do it. It's this guy right here. It has to be six inches. Oh, so Karen's move a whopping ten. Yep. They all, yeah, they're one of my favorite units, for sure. Scares are 10 inch movement? Yeah. I thought we were 9. Ah, Scares are awesome. <laughs> Woo! Now, do I want to give up their shots? Fourteen. Woo! I can do it. I can do it! I mean, I could just overwatch again. And this you could do. I could. Uh, this is an optional tactic for you to do. Ooh, ooh! Another optional tactic for me to do. Uh, to charge, or you have a march? Not yet, but right. I could change the order. I have a march for these guys. Right. Uh, ten. Sentinels aren't fast enough. I feel like sentinels should be faster. Or scout sentinels. They should be like really. What I think I need to do is I need to somehow figure out a way to go recapture that objective eventually. Yeah. So I'm going to just move uh, there with my advance, uh, be out of line of sight with your tanks as well as the Titan so Kay. that they survive. Okay, uh, my Malkador is going to move up. Mm -hmm. And... Who's eight inches up there? There you go, Malkador's moving up. Okay. Done. Cool. Um, I've got a march with uh, the Rhinos, so they're going to go four inches uh, back that way, I guess. And then another five there. Sorry, Charlie, that you're having a that your pet's not doing well. That's always never fun. And then just move on to that objective. That's very smart. Very very smart. All right, the Sentinels. I'm going to try to win the objective game. Oh, you were already going to win the objective game. Man, if you could just let me move straight through those guys. Why would I do that? Because uh, the Sentinels are just going to march, and they're just going to march up. Your turn. I'm going to change them. Oh, to... sorry. Can I change that? I want to change them to here. They're going to march to here. They're going to hide behind here. There. Okay. That's way better for them. They can hold the objective. Sure. That's your command squad, eh? Yep. And then you've got a beam blade that will possibly fire Overwatch. It is a very good Overwatch. Yep. Yep. It um, can kill your unit just like you killed mine. Ooh, very interesting where that night that Titan went. I kind of <laughs> kind of wondered about that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I activated my Titan. My Titan is facing down your beam blade and also stopping it from moving forward. Right here, so that's a that's a smart move there. Here, well, let's 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 look at, look at it really cool, nice and close. Now, don't switch to this yet. Wait till I tell you to. No, no, it's not very good. It's, I don't like shaky camera. No, no, he doesn't. No not. shaky camera, please. Uh, wait, till, wait till, and wait till I got focused. To the person that said, you know, why is the, the Dark Angels winning? Uh, there you we, go. We didn't change the colors, and I am Blood Angels. Now you can cut yeah. to it. All right, so he moved in or he went like. <laughs> Uh, he's trying to block me from getting over here. But what he doesn't know is that my commander is going to change his order to an advance order, sorry, a mar uh, march order, mm -hmm. and he's going to motor to be exactly three inches away from this one over here. Cool. Uh, so I just abandon you, unless you want to overwatch me. You could. Nope. You could kill it. Nope. Okay. I'm going to change. Uh, that's exactly what I was waiting for because I was worried about that overwatch. Yep. I'm changing them to a charge order and going on to your home objective. 
Uh, you got one guy in. Yep. Since you're going in there, these guys over here. Here, I'll move the camera so that we can see it. Um, there we go. All right, so now you can cut to it. These infantry right here want to charge into here. He's going to use his master commander, ta master tactician ability to change the march order to a charge order mm. and charge in here. Now he can only do 10 inches, which means that one, two, looks like three guys can get in range. Mm -hmm. um, the Somers are, are dead. dead. Yeah. So I'm risking it here. As you get to here, yeah. you're going to overwatch? I'm going to overwatch you. Now those, th those three can get into combat there. Um, I'm going to overwatch you with my, my guys here because they're going to die otherwise anyways. So they're just going to shoot a bunch of dice. It's not going to do much because they only hit on sixes, but um, maybe I get lucky. Maybe. So that is see it. five dice. Give me some sixes. Got one six. Uh-oh. No minus on that. So just so I'm five up. take a five up. I nope. killed one. Uh -oh. Which one do you want to kill? You've oh, got... This is the trailer. Yeah. One of the trailers. Ah. There you go. Sure. Um, okay. Cool. And uh, then their advance token goes away. And then you charge in, and you can charge into here, here, and here, and the rest of these guys go like this. Mm -hmm. uh, now, two things about that. Your objective is actually worth more points. If yes, I, if I that's what I'm it. trying to do with the Ogren. And uh, secondly, um, they are now going to get fired at by other things over there, hopefully. Yes, because now these both these units are pinned, pinned. Yeah. which means that they can't be targeted, mm -hmm. which kind of sucks. But this is also why I moved these Sentinels back here. They couldn't get on any other objective, but what they can do is help hold my home objective, even if you kill all these Actually, guys. To be honest, uh, and this is a bit of Tacticus, if you had kept the movement there, yeah. I would not have charged onto your home That's objective. That's true. Because I would have been worried about losing that objective. That's fair, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm doing a few things wrong here, to be honest. No, no I mean, you did very well over here. Uh, unfortunately, I did first fire in here. I wish I actually didn't. Um, because you're actually, like, I could fire two of the, the tanks at you here. Mm -hmm. This would be the target to shoot at, but the rest can only shoot forward. So, they're all going to shoot at your Kratos's. Maybe I kill your Kratos is off your objective. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. There's not a lot else to do. So they just stay there and that's all that happens. Okay, so we are into the combat phase. We're into the fire first phase. All my all my Vanquisher cannons into your Kratos's. That's all yep. they can see. Yep. Six Vanquisher cannons. On fours. Mm -hmm. I did really terrible last time. Let's uh, you, do better. You, you'll do better this time for sure. Nope. I hit once out of six dice. Oh, come on! That, that was should have really, been three! That was really bad. Ah. I'm really sorry. Uh, that is a two, so it does go through. Kills one. Oh, it doesn't kill. I thought you had a wound on one from last time. You, um, killed, you killed that one. I thought, I, yeah, I thought I did another wound. Oh, no, you saved it with... Uh, yeah, Armor Bane didn't save it. All right, that's, I can't shoot the, the lasers, so that's it. First Fire first is done. Do advance. And I think I have advance. I'm actually going to fire the Malkador into the Titan. Okay. He's, uh, he's right at the half right in there, so we can just... Mm -hmm. He's in his front arc, which mm -hmm. means he can fire, even though it's right at the side, so it's really close. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to fire my Demolisher Cannon to hopefully strip some Void Shields, which I miss. I'm going to fire my Sponson to hopefully strip some Void Shields, which I miss. Then I'm going to fire his big Vanquisher Cannon, which I hit. It strips a Void Shield. Oh, I'm in your front arc, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so I've only got one uh, Void Shield remaining. Yeah, Titans start with two Void Shields. Basically, they don't get a save if just you hit with something that can damage Void Shield, which is mostly anti-tank weaponry. Um, you do a damage. Oh, to sorry. It. We are out of uh, out of sequence. That was a uh, advance. Yep. We should have done combat first. <gasps> sorry, you are correct. That's yes, okay. we should have. Okay. Uh, fortunately, it didn't affect it with this guy here. Um, okay, so we've got combats right here from the close-up cam that you can see, um, and so we've paired off, and I have priority, so I can pair them off. There's nothing really to pair off, but one on one, two on one, and that's how they fight. These guys can't fight because they're not on base contact. These guys can't fight because they're not on base contact. Okay. Okay. My Warlord is at risk because he's out in front. Now, my Warlord's a slightly better fighter, so we'll see what happens. But he is paired off. Yeah, he's paired off against these two guys here. Yep. Because you can only fight what's in base contact. Yep. So, let's do the, let's do the one-on-one -on -one first. Kay. I got two dice with no additional bonus. So, I got five, six, seven, eight. That is actually pretty good. Uh, Three, four, five, six, six seven, for charging. Eight. So, we're, we're tied. Uh, so, you get plus one for charging. Yep, and my tacticals are two. So yeah, we tied. We tied, which means nothing happens, they just bounce. Okay. Excellent! My commander then goes to fight. Yes. And my commander has does have a CAF of one. So I get plus one to this dice roll. Okay. Um, I got eight, nine total. 
Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, yeah. you kill my commander. Ah! Uh, and uh, at that point, the attack sequence ends. However, you now need to test because you lost uh, more than I did. Yeah, I won't be in danger of having a fallback order, but I could be in danger of withdrawing. Withdrawing. I roll a, di a dice, uh, compare it to my morale, which is a two up. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not a two up. You killed my commander. Oh. It's now a four up, which I fail, which means I'm gonna make a D6 run away. Straight towards my board edge, one inch, which fortunately will mean- You're still on your objective. I'm still on the objective. Which means you, know you have not taken away from me. But I killed your commander, so you I'm did kill my commander. That's actually really huge. Yeah. Yeah. Because now you can't uh, change orders. No, that was a nice ability. Nick was my opinion of the guard's attachment rule. Uh, it's, you have to really, there, there's some powerful to it sometimes, but it's, you gotta really think about how your stuff is ordered and stuff like that. <laughs> but this does actually give me plus one, um, like this is actually six for each of these guys. I know, that's why one. I wanted to fire my Titan into it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, your Titan can see them all. Because I ran away, yep. your Titan can see them all. Yep. Well, fire away, Titan. Uh, though, uh, it'd be really fun to take out your Malkador because it's only got one wound left. Yep. However, we don't want to go out of sequence. Uh, you do fire with your Malkador first, which I guess we can keep the... Yeah. Uh, so now it's your turn. Yep. What do you want to fire with the, the, the Titan? Uh, the, the that's it for the combat, just that. Uh, sorry, no, you fired your Lehman Russes. You haven't fired your Malkador. They were first fire. I yep. did fire him just now, because I have priority. Ah, I fired him into your Titan. Right, that's what you So did. now we're in the advanced advanced fire. So I get plus one CAF for being in base contact with your fellow troops. Uh, I thought it was OC. <gasps> Is it, did I read that wrong? That means I killed one of your Marines, because we were tied. Did I do that? Did I read that wrong? I thought it was advanced uh, one plus one. Um, yeah, plus one for being in base with, uh, with your fellow troops. Yeah, if you're in base contact, you get plus one. Uh, but I thought it was plus one tactical strength. Did I read that wrong? Let's check. Let's check. Um, yes! That means this guy is dead. Yeah, you still killed my commander, but I killed your marine. Uh, uh, which means I still fail I still fail the combat, but I have a... Uh, but yeah. We I still, we actually, tied. I don't we fail tied. the combat. We, we tie. Which means nobody has but to But then test. how does that work in terms of like, I'm also in base contact with a... Uh, You're not in base contact. Look. No, no, sorry. Uh, you get plus one calf for being base contact with your fellow troops. It's for, no, no, for, for the infantry. Defender? That's my detachment rule. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, how are you supposed to paint dudes this small? Uh, contrast paints. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, only the, it's only the guard that get plus one CAF for that. Okay, uh, uh, so then I'm gonna just fire with the, uh, I guess my Titan, the only thing it can see is the, uh, the Malkador. So I'll just fire the Malkador. I mean, you can still see two of the bases from uh, Titan, maybe three. We're pinned. No, we're not. I killed the one that was touching here, and you killed the one that was touching here. So we're not pinned. Oh. So you still fire at him if you want to. No, that's okay. Okay. Uh, so into the Malkador. With that, is that the Ursa Claw, or that's the... I, I think the Ursa's out of range. Unfortunately, yeah. it is. So that would... Do that's, I hit a... That's a failure, but you get accuracy reroll, because you're not within six inches. Six so inches hits on threes. Okay, so I need a four? You need a four, but you get to reroll it, yeah. Yep. So you hit... Uh, I believe it's like minus four or something like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, at this range, at this range is minus three. So three. Six. You get a six, six. I got a six up. Did you make it? You made it, didn't you? No, I didn't. Oh. You, I was trying to get you going there, but no. Um, Malkador's dead. Malkador's, Malkador's gone. Dead. Yep. Ba boom. Yeah. Here, I'll, sh I'll show you where it died and we'll see it. Here. It was right here. It went boom and sold the building. We can, we can put a boom. boom oh, there. we can put a boom. <laughs> the things that uh, good old Nick gets excited for. <laughs> um, That's where it died. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to move this side so, again. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying watching this. It is a very dynamic game. I'm going to uh, put it right here because a bunch of Kratos is about to die. You already shot the Kratos. Not oh, with, not with a titan. titan. Not with a Titan tack. Titan tack, Titan tack, Titan tack. Titan tack? I titan mean, tack. I feel like a Titan playing on this table. Yeah, kind of does feel like boom, boom. All right. Not loves them, but still cool. You don't love the paint jobs on the Titans? Okay, well, you don't have to love them. I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, Cult of Paint did do a great Imperialist video. I watched that one. Uh, okay, okay. I ran out of time on the Titans, my fault. Mm, that's... 
Um, All right, so tighten, tighten on to us. Yeah, it's the only thing I can fire. That's the only thing left. Mm -hmm. So tighten this fire, everything into those Kratos's. I can't see the rhinos. No. <sighs> melt a lance! No, not the melt a lance, because that does multiple damage. I'm going to do the swarm missiles because you have one wound on there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dice. Mm -hmm. Any sixes are double hits. No sixes. Two hits. Okay. No AP yep. for this light AT. Yeah, it rhymes. I'm okay. You're okay. So, so now, now the melt -a -lance. Now the melt -a lance which I hit, yep. and it's minus four at this, no, it's not, it's minus three at this range. Yep. So I get a five up. Uh, yeah. Nope. Kills one. You kill the lead. Uh, are you planning on doing a how-to play video like we did the 10th edition for Imperials? Mm, probably not. Um, hey, we haven't even talked about it. How is it probably not? Okay, you want to do it? Think about it. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. Moving on. Moving on. That's it. Uh, that's that all my it. shoots. Uh, that's all of mine because uh, the advance uh, goes away. Okay. Now, you managed to outsmart me there, unfortunately, in very many ways. And, oh, one last thing. Void shields. Do you get your void shield back? Sorry, Tycho, you were... Did you fire your claw at the uh, no, he, he I... targeted here, which means he's, he has, can only split fire four inches away. Yeah. Split fire in Imperialis is incredibly limited. Yeah. And a Titan can split fire, but both yeah. targets need to be within four inches of each other. If we... Uh, I, I'd want to wait for a new Battlefield Gothic. I've looked at the Battlefield Gothic rules. They are a little archaic and I think would not translate... If this is challenging to watch, I think, to be honest, Battlefield Gothic would be really challenging to watch. Yeah. We would need to do a whole bunch of animations on that. Yeah. So, uh, let's see if I regenerate a Void Shield on a 4-up. I do. So, I am back to two Void Shields on my Titan. These are the Pleonicus uh, Titan Legion, if someone's asking. Uh, painted with uh, the Pleon Orange. Yes, we actually have our own paint now. Um, well, we have our own single paint color. color. The Pleon yeah. Orange. Um, and then lastly, I got to these these Ogren fall back. Can you move them back 10 inches? And I'm going to see if they rally. They do rally. They do not have the fallback order anymore. That is excellent. That means they can go take one of these other objectives if they don't die from Overwatch. <laughs> from uh, Rhinos? The Rhinos could do it. All right. So these guys getting here, that's kind of a big deal. That helps a lot. Mm. Um, this is tough. Uh, are you broken yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yes, you are broken. I am broken. Yep. So from a manual, they they can into another detachment. Yeah. Uh, it has yeah. to be a separate detachment. Yeah. Yes. So basically, if they overran and wiped this squad, they actually could move then into the Sentinels. Well, and kill that was them. my hope. That yeah. It was. It was. It had a possibility. I just didn't have the range. Yeah. Um, Okay, so uh, armies in Imperial House are broken into formations, which are groups of detachments. If that formation, I have two formations, you have one formation. Mm -hmm. If that formation is half strength, uh, it is called broken, which means you can only give it the advance or charge order. You cannot march, you cannot first fire. Um, there is a way around it, that's with your master tactician. You have one here, I do not have one anymore. Um, that's the only way around it. Yeah, but uh, it makes it super simple because now I've only got two. Uh, yeah. Two orders that I can apply. Now, with my Ogren dead and the other unit of infantry dead, I am now broken too, mm -hmm. but not with the tanks, just with the infantry and the sentinels. Right, because you've got... Two uh, different formations. Two different formations. And this formation's only uh, lost... You have three different three formations, because the Titan is one. Oh, yeah, technically the Titan is one. To my two formations. Yeah. Cool. All right, so we're going to put some orders down and go to turn four. Uh, before we that, can I score? Because I would like my... Points. No! I don't want you to have priority. Prior. Okay, yes, fine. Okay, so I'm going to get eight... <sighs> You get two points for holding your home. You get four points for holding the center. You get, still get four points for this because even though there's no guys on it, it's stickied, you still hold it. Yep. Anyway. I do get four for holding this. Yep. So you got eight, eight, eight more, uh, four, no. eight, ten. ten. Ten points for tack, four points for Nick. Yep. Uh, sorry, no, I hold my home. Four, five, six, six points for Nick. Yep. You're at 26. Uh, I would have gone I to get, 26. I get another six points. I'm way behind. <laughs> Uh, you also need to be in table quarters. Well, that's why the Titan's moving over there. Let's take that table quarter. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but I have to control the table quarter, not just be in the table quarter. Yeah. Turn so, four, yeah. Here we go. All right. This is getting uh, really close. We're going to do some orders, put them down here. Uh, how are we on time? How long is this stream gone for? Two hours and 19 minutes. Okay. So that's, you know, 
Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad for us trying to play a new game, trying to remember our rules, try to impart a little bit of knowledge. <laughs> yeah. An opportunity, probably. An opportunity, yeah. yeah. Um, there's probably a lot of people in chat a lot smarter than me. Yes. Hmm. The Kratos and the Warhound showdown. Four attacks, one Warhound has yet to do any real damage. Yeah, he's been pretty out of... I've killed him, Alcador. Out of anything. Haven't I? Huh. <sighs> I think I want to do that order. Because then I could do... <gasps> I can't do that order. Oh, shoot. Because my commander is dead, these infantry can only be given an advance order. I was trying to give them a march order to try to take this objective. I can't do it because mm -hmm. my commander is way over here. Mm -hmm. I have a tank commander, but my infantry commander is dead. You monster! Being called a monster in the 41st millennium is like being called buddy. <laughs> 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 Pal. Yeah. <laughs> You're a monster. Yes, yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> what is not uh, a monster in the 41st millennium? Cow. Agreed. Yeah, they're fish. <laughs> monster. <laughs> so which unit has the most important order going to it this round, Nick? All of them. All of them. <laughs> All of them matter. I, uh, you do have a lot more than I do in terms of putting down orders. The problem is I can't get anywhere that anyone needs to be. That's the problem. So being cut off from your move, move, move orders is uh, hurting you. Yes, it is. Yes, it is indeed. What announced releases for the game are you the most looking forward to? I want to see the Iconoclast Titan on the table. That yes. was... Yes, like very, I, very I'm much. An Iconoclast Titan is bigger than a Warlord Titan. And the biggest thing we have in the studio is the Manta and the Warlord Titan. So on scale, that thing would be the biggest thing we have. Yep. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Yep, pretty much. Um, yeah, I can only give the advance token to these infantry. Everything else has the, either the independent or they're in uh, range of a commander. Tycho, yes. uh, we've had that one poll up there for a real long time. You oh. want to finish that poll? Yeah. Uh, and do up another poll at your yes. discretion, whatever you want to do. This would be nice if it wasn't just Horus Heresy. I've got to believe that if this does really well, they might consider some other, uh, some other forces. So you have charge with your Ogren. But you, you know what I have. But you don't have, uh, you don't have access to... Uh... I have access to all of them. Huh? Oh, broken. it's broken! You don't have access oh, to Oh, shoot! Them. No! I was going to march with him. I know you were. Oh, but you man. can't. So take that away. <sighs> That's really... What else did you give the wrong order? Uh, well, you can't. But the rules are actually very lenient in this game. The rules uh, have things like... If you forget to issue an order, they automatically get advanced. Yeah. So, um, yeah. It's meant to Darn be... Darn it! If I wasn't broken... So you can try to charge onto something. I'm not going to let you charge onto something. Because uh, you can't get that one over there. No, without, the, the movement won't be and enough. You, yeah, you can't, you can't garrison this building over here either. Um, and I'm definitely not going to let you charge uh, my Kratos to get over here. No. Nope. So... Darn it! Da! Uh, so, all right. Then uh, I'm going to assume that... Then, uh, okay, this is turn four. You, need, right. to, you need to start thinking table quarters. 100% I do. Um, for your points. Yep. All right, so then uh, orders. I've got advance on the Sakarians. I've got advance on the Kratos. I have advance on the Rhinos. And then I have a charge on my Marines back there. Yeah, I figured. And then I've got advance on the uh, Titan. Yeah. Uh, EO, thank you very much for the donation. Appreciate that. Hope you're enjoying this stream as we learn this new game together. Um, Though he, he got called into work emergency, so. That's why he's getting to. But I'm sorry about the work emergency. Hopefully it wasn't a bad work emergency. Yeah. Hopefully it was just like someone forgot their keys work emergency. I've had that before. <laughs> I was in my buddy's pool on a yeah. hot summer day. And then they called me up going like, we didn't realize that the last person with keys left the office. Can you come back? <laughs> that sucks. That did suck. 
Um, okay. So then my orders, yep. my guys back here are also going to do, no, charge. Where's the charge order token? So we're both charging? We're both charging. Okay. Uh, charge them. The the uh, Sentinels are advancing. Okay. The Ogren are also advancing. Mm -hmm. My Lehman Russes are why marching. Wouldn't you, why didn't, wouldn't you just charge with Ogren? Do they have actually, uh, do they have uh, guns? Nope. So why wouldn't you just do charge action then? Yeah, why would I not? Sorry, do you mind, uh, no, that's mind if I change that? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Thank you. Uh, that makes it a don't, lot more. Don't do something. Don't do something stupid. I wasn't going to say stupid. Isn't that what I'm known for? I can't find a charge token. This is a charge token now. Okay. Uh, march on the Lehman Russes. Advance on the... Uh, the march with the Lehman Russes. Yeah. Interesting. They're not doing much. No, they're not. <laughs> they, uh, they haven't done much. Uh, and you've got a commander in there, so can you change? No, you can't. The commander's change. on the main blade. So yeah, the only one that has master tactician is the guy you killed. So there's no changing nope. orders. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, priority. Who got priority? Who goes first? I got a five. Uh, I was ho hoping that you would go first anyway. I got a four. All right, going first. So movement phase in the movement phase. Uh, oh, and advance, of course, on the Titan. Yeah. Uh, you take these objectives away from you. I don't know how I do that. To be honest. How fast are these guys? 10? They move 10. That's insane. That's pretty good. I mean, your Lehman Rusts are just going to overwhelm that, that area. I'm going to do the Ogren, and he's going to charge into the building. No. I got Garrison in the building. No, like no. He's, he's moving. Oh, using a move to go over yeah. there. Not charge the. Uh, no. I want to go in the building. Okay. On the one chance that you don't kill Rhino? Even if I kill a rhino, I'm in the open. Right. Okay. So you could overwatch with the, the rhinos or the I'm going to charge. Titan. With, uh, I'm going to charge with my command squad. Okay. Command squad charging in. Yep. So, so I want to go surround up to 10. You. So yeah, you go all the way around. Now remember, there's a one inch control zone. Yep. So you got to go like that. But you, ooh, there's a one inch control zone from there. So the most you'll be able to go is here unless you want to multi-charge the Sentinels. Yeah, there's multi-charging the Sentinels. All right, well, if you're multi-charging the Sentinels, the Sentinels will over... They're going to overwatch anyways. Okay. Sentinels are going to overwatch. Yep. Um, uh, so we use the frag profile, so you get two shots yes. with the uh, missiles, and then you get... Uh, Multi-lasers first. Yep. Hitting on sixes because of minus two for overwatch. Got one hit, nice. no AP. Uh, take a save. Up. Nope. Kill one base. Okay. And then I have uh, the frag of the Sentinel missile launchers also hitting on sixes. And I got two more sixes! Oh, no. No AP. It ignores your cover, but that doesn't matter. I uh, save one. I killed two bases. That was really worth it. That was worth it. Um, so Obviously not the commander. Two bad guys, I'm guessing. Yep. And then, well, I guess you want to go like this, or you do it how you want to. Well, because I declared multi-charge, I don't. You don't need, have to. I don't need to. Yeah, you actually don't declare who you're charging. You just declare. You just move. Yep. So, um, so I've got two on that base. Though you have a charge order on them, so you can um, bring more in. I can pile them in. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, but I'm going to do that to try to mitigate how you pile. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the same thing. These guys will, oh man, that was, that was a good overwatch. That was um, very good overwatch. And these guys will, might as well use their charge order to pile in with the rest of them. Yep. Uh, feel no pain on your commander's apothecary. See, I told you they're smarter than we are. Oh, yes. You do get a, uh, against light. No, yeah. only against light though. Um, um, and what just killed you was... One of them was light, one of them was light AT. So I don't know if you get against light AT. I think you just get against light. Okay. So five up. Feel the pain. Ah! No! Oh, no! <laughs> okay, where do you want it in? Yeah, uh, do you want to pile yeah, up, well, tie yeah, up one more? Tie up one more, yeah. Okay. So then I'll use this one to go two and one. Yeah. That was annoying. Though, you know what? I, I'm so sorry for Mubin, because Mubin just really wants to see the Ursus Claw do something. Yeah. And we just haven't been giving him. All right, so you charged in. I'm still not going to give your Ursus Claw anything to do, because I'm going to make a play for next turn and go eight times two, so 16 inches, and just speed run the Lehman Russes <laughs> all the way to your home objective, because that's the only thing I can get points for at this point. Okay. All right. <laughs> go, Lehman Russes, go. Go, Lehman Russes, go. Okay. 
your turn. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. You have OC5 on? Right now I have OC5 on that objective. Right. Uh, and my rhinos probably only have a... They only have the bolter. OC2, I think it is, for them. But I'd have to double check. It would be their size. Uh, their only size... It's the little number beside the... Two. Oh, uh, no. Sorry. Size two. So size that two. is four. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, it, you... Oh, it's possible you might uh, outnumber me. I'll check. But you keep... You move... You... Think about it while you... Yep, the Rhino is just going to uh, go like that so that it can fire its guns into the building on the one chance I actually hit you. I'm trying to find the tactical strength. Movement, you really should try the game out. It is a lot of fun. And yes, you have access to a Titan with an Ursus Claw and you could do it yourself. Uh, da -da -ba. Sorry, this is a very engaging uh, video to watch people flip through special rules and books. We'll look it up later. I might kill the Ogryn with the, the bolters. Okay. So look it up later. Look it up later. Look it up later. Uh, I'm almost there. Just kill the Ogryn. Just kill the Ogryn. Yeah, just kill the Ogryn. Tactical strength for vehicles, two. So you have four, I have five. I yeah. win. Yeah. Unless you kill him. Yeah. Uh, but that was my move. Yep. So my turn? Yes. Uh, these guys I don't know done. why you blocked your Titan. I didn't. I'm not... I, I'm fine with Titan there. Your Titan's just gonna stay there? Probably. Okay. But first I'm gonna move the Bane Blade. Okay. And the Bane Blade is gonna move his seven. Hmm. <sighs> 10 inches is stupid. Yep, I know. <laughs> if I go here, I can't actually go through that thing. I know. Well, <laughs> you're the one that set up the, the terrain, so there is a tank trap there. He's in range of the objective. Okay. Where are you going to go? Uh, 10 would get one of them into the rear arc, which would stop uh, your demolisher from firing at it, as well as any of your uh, front mounted weapons. That is, your last cannons can't fire at them. Um, then your. Last can the last cannons are, are turreted. Are they, are they turreted? Yeah. The only thing is the demolisher and the, I think it's just the demolisher. You're not the only person that wish they had the uh, capability to advance. Or march? Or sorry, march. Yeah. Oh, right, because you're broken, so you can only advance. Yep. Or charge. Yep. So yeah. that's what kind of stopped me from doing that, right? So they're going to just go risk it. At least you can't hit me with the demolisher. However, uh, I'm now in your rear arc for the, uh, for both of your Titan as well as the... Um... Great. I'm okay with that, because what's gonna happen is this guy is gonna go... and go kill some Zakarans. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, because of this wall, I'm going to now move them to here, and also be able to see the rear of your Titan. Sure, you can fire my Titan. I don't mind. <laughs> Hello, Justin Storm. I had an epic White Scar army in the Titan Legion's day, but decades of heresy have taken their toll. Hmm. Yeah, this Ursus Claw is really good. I'm really curious what you're going to do with this Titan. I need to figure out ways to stop you from, uh, from getting to table quarters. And the only way I'm going to do that is by removing... Killing uh, units. Killing units, right? Yep. So, I need to take objectives and kill units. Because uh, there's a chance I kill this one, right? Yep. I see you want. Sorry, can I adjust one movement really quickly? Oh, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. You're okay? I just need to be six inches away from those uh, lean rusts, I just realized, because I need to give them orders next round. Uh, are they all last cannons, sponsors? They're all the front? same. Yeah, we're, we're running them all the same. Last cannon, sponsors, and Vanquisher cannon guns. Okay. Uh, all right, so the last thing I need to have to move is my Titan. Uh, they can no longer move. Nope, they're stuck. So they overwatched. They you, can, you can annihilate them if you want to. Within six? Does that look cool, Tycho? It does. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, ah! No, please, please, no, baby. We're your baby No, brothers. I feel sad because uh, I'm sure 
they wanted to see the Titans go at each other. <laughs> yeah. The last games we did, but this game we just kind of like ignored each other. Yeah. So I guess if you want to see the Titans go at each other, uh, check out if you have recently joined the membership, check out the live stream from Wednesday uh, where we did do Imperialis and that was a very different game from this one. We're learning every time we play. Yeah. Okay, so that is, uh, I think that is all the movements that we can do, correct? Yep, first fires, no first fires. Combat, here's the combat. Yep. Right there. Uh, so we can pair off? Yeah, so. And you have initiative, so you would pair. So I'm gonna do, two, I'm gonna do three on one here. Yep. Then it's, then I, so I, that I can do three on one on the other end. Cause then we could tie combat. So what I'm hoping is that I win this fight and you don't kill one. Okay. Because I have one guy that charged, and if I roll with him first, I get plus one. Right. So my best chance yep. to not lose that fight and lose the battle. Okay, so uh, you have initiative. So, which so let's do the three on one here. So I'm going to start with this guy right here that charged, so he gets plus one to his dice roll. Yep. Plus one for line line fighting, mm -hmm. uh, if we get that. Mm -hmm. So two dice, plus two. That's uh, a really high roll, so that's, that's pretty good. That's ten. 11, 12, because they normally have a CAF of zero. Right. Oh no, that's not true. No, that's Um uh, I think they have a CAF zero. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have zero. Yes, CAF zero. So, okay. but they're line infantry and they charge. So okay. 10, 11, 12. 12. Get a 12 on this guy right here okay. with two dice. So I just need to roll pretty high. Uh, that is a nine, uh, 10, 11, 12. Oh, we tied. Ah, okay, so we tied, so none of us died, but that's okay, because now we go to the next one, and now we get three dice, because uh, because there's multiple on the combat, now we get three dice against our one guy. Okay. And I rolled, oh, four, five, six, seven. That's it? That's it, with three dice. I, mean, I rolled double could, ones. You could uh, you could do it. Six, seven, eight, no, Nine. you killed yeah. one. Okay. But then we go to the next one, and now I get four dice. This one right here, I get four dice against you. So we did three on one, you're doing three on one. Three on one. There was oh. one guy here that just died. Okay. That's what you're doing. Sorry. Yeah. I'm trying to kill a guy. If okay. I can kill a guy, I can tie this fight, right? Yeah. Uh, there we go. That's what I need to roll last time. Yep. You can't do that. Nope. Woo! So kill the Marine. Dead. Yep. All right. And then, then we do three on this one guy. Yeah. So it'll be a tactical squad first. Yep. You don't want to accidentally kill your commander? 13. Uh, 13? Yeah. My... Nope. I die. I did it! I won the fight! Or at least tied it. You, you potentially tied it. Potentially right? tied it, because you've now killed one guy, and yep. I've killed two. Um, excellent. So now I you just... get an extra dice. That's, oh, <gasps> no. Give me two sixes again. I can do this! Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one, five, two, three, six, four, seven, five, eight. six, seven, eight. Eight. Did I just kill another one? You did. I just killed another one! So you're going to win combat. But now you get... Uh, four dice yes. for this one. Oh yeah, I can't even do anything about that. You killed him. Yep. So I killed three Marines, so you're one. Which means I win the combat, which means you have to take morale tests right now to see if you run away. I don't. Okay, so you stay You stay there, nothing happens, and that's it. Do you get, so only against light weapons, so I guess uh, you would not get feel no pains in, in uh, combat. It's, it, it specifically says you don't get them in combat. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but I did, I did not run away. But I hold the objective. Excellent. I mean, you can shoot them. Yeah. But that's that was fantastic. Mm -hmm. That was. I did not expect that. Yeah. I did not either. Guardsmen. Woo. I just rolled really well. Yeah, you did roll really <laughs> well. Um, okay, so then we go uh, outside. You have initiative, so you choose the first one to fire. Um, none of these guys can fire. So uh, I've only got two over here. The Titan is gonna fire everything into your Sakarans. Got it. Titan firing Sakarans. Uh, big giant gun. The thermal lance. Oh yeah, that's a hit. Yep. Uh, that's minus four. Yep. Uh, so a Sakaran in uh, other games has a two up, but in this game Is it three has up? a three up. So you kill a Sakaran. I kill one. Just, it, there's nothing you can do about it. Yep. Boom! Okay. Ice is it. And then it's going to fire the missiles. Now this you'll have a much better chance against. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dice hitting on fours. Mm -hmm. uh, sixes become double hits. Ooh, two double hits. So that's four hits. It's light AT, so I don't get you don't get any minus against it. But if I roll, oh, he's alive. He's alive. Uh, take a morale test, please. Uh, sure. He failed. Fail. Excellent. 
fallback order goes on it, it cannot fire, and it will run away at the end of the round. It will, yep. Um, your turn. That's what I needed to see happen. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the Titan. Let's see if I can take down a Titan with uh, two Kratos uh, tanks. <laughs> That's a chance. Nope. Not much of a chance. There is a chance. That's uh, a rough chance. Here, I'm going to move the camera over there so you can see what's going on over here. Everyone watching. Nah, four Cradle Spout Cannon shots. Uh, four Last Cannon shots. Oh, there's a reason why you uh, do the Cradle Last Cannon separately. They have accurate. Yep, they do. Uh, and then the Heavy Vultures are out of range. I see. To the base? No, they're out of range. All right. So, I think I do the Kratos Battle Cannons first because they have AP1, so they would take down your Void Shield. Yep. As long as they have anti tank in AP1. Yeah. Sorry? As long as they have anti tank. These are last cannons? Uh, then I would do the last cannons instead because they don't have a. Uh, this one has no keywords. Uh, no keywords. It can't take down the. Uh, it has to have. But it has AP one. Yeah, it has to have. Uh, it has to have anti tank. To take down a void shield with no keywords. Are you absolutely sure? Pretty sure, but let's let's double check it. Let's double check that. That's that's worth a check. Void shields, energy shields. Uh, stop stuff coming at them. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, hits can only be allocated to a void shield if they were scored by a weapon with a modified AP of minus one or better. Okay, so regular hits, yeah, should yeah, be fine. Yeah. Uh, it's, if, it's if they have the light AT, that's, the AP that, goes that's to zero. That's what I thought. Yes, okay. Um, I keep getting mixed up myself. Oh, all good. Um, so then we've got uh, three hits. So two, uh, two take down your void shields. Yep. And one at AP one. Uh, AP two because I'm in your rear. Uh, except because it's not anti-tank, I think it goes away? No, anti-tank just means that it's light. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, yeah, it goes through. Okay, so you're down to uh, three wounds down remaining. Down to three wounds. Cool. Uh, then my uh, my Kratos, uh, my Sponsons. Let's see what happens. I hit with both, AP2. Uh, one other one goes through, I'm down to two. Uh, and then the uh, Kratos last cannons. Uh, and then a reroll because it's accurate. Yeah. Nope. Uh, one at AP uh, two. Goes through. I'm down to one wound. You are down to one wound. So what the heck just happened? Uh, it could have. Well, if it wasn't. If I hadn't, if I hadn't made the critters fall back, yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. So are you saying I can't see you? With the front arc, no. True. Right. True. Uh, super of a tank, what's what's the front arc, the hull mounted, and Demolisher the hull cannon. mounted. Yeah. Uh, Demolisher is actually not f uh, front arc. How's the Demolisher odd. not? I don't there's understand. The, oh, the... sorry, that's the Hellhammer cannon I'm looking at. Demolisher is front arc. Okay. All right, well, sure. I'm going to fire the uh, the Bane Blade, and he's going to turn his turret and fire everything that's the Sakaran. Okay. The Bane Blade cannon, one hit on four. That's a miss. Okay. Then the Coaxial cannon, one hit on five. That's a miss. And then the Lascan sponsor turrets, two shots. That is two hits at minus one. Two hits at minus one? Yep. Oh boy. With uh, anti tank. And with anti tank, so I need four ups. I make both. He's alive. He's alive. Point defense can't do a thing. You're done. Okay, cool. Uh, then I'm going to take the rhinos. Uh, and both fire, run, uh, fire at the ogren inside the building here? Yep, yeah, they're going to try. Uh, <laughs> so they have a pintle mounted uh, twin linked heavy bolt, uh, bolter. So two shots. Uh, oh, you have morale. Uh, they have a morale of zip, so they can't be. Oh, that's true. They yes. can't be morelled. Yeah. They can't run away. They can still withdraw from a combat, but they can't run away. They can't run away. Yeah. Uh, so these are point defense. So I'm actually hitting on uh, fives. What? A point defense doesn't make any difference. It's still minus two. Point okay. defense only gets the the regular if it's, it's Overwatch. To over, okay. They don't over. get the negative against Overwatch, but okay. still. So firing into a building, a unit inside a building, is minus two to hit. Well, that's that's really rough actually, because these guys only have, I believe, a six up save. Oh, sorry. No, in no. the building, they have a four up. Save. They have a four up. But if I don't get that four, he's dead, and I can control the building. <sighs> he's dead. He's dead. No. <laughs> it's 
Stupid Ogren! You failed me for the last time! Well, yes, true. <laughs> failure, failure, failure! It is useless. Which means I've lost the objective. I think that's gonna cinch, me, cinch you the game. Um, this might cinch me on the game on points. Yeah. Um, then we go into, uh, do you have anything left for fire? Nope. Nothing else. Okay, then the... Titan, what do you wanna fight at? Shoot at. Uh... Here, Tycho, here's a Titan shot. Ready, oh boy, oh boy, set. Oh uh, and well, the wait for thing, the focus. The only thing he can fire at because of uh, because we're Go. the same size and we're pinned. The only thing I can fire out no, is No, they're not the, pinned. They're not pinned. They're outside of combat. Oh, you moved them outside of combat? No, I didn't. You fought. We fought. We killed all the guys that were in combat. Oh, okay. They're now unengaged. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I think I just go into your sentinels. It is 1,090 points. Yeah, I think I've got. I think you've got 1,098, and I think I got 1,092. Uh, Justin, any new shirts coming for Xmas? I'm. I was hoping to. I've just had a heck of a week, so I haven't had any time to do any designs. There is a new uh, toque, a beanie, there <laughs> that has like the little pom pom on top. I got. I was able to release that uh, two days ago, and there is a 20% off uh, sale right now on this stuff. The merchandise and. Uh, I will say that the the comfort it's uh, very comfy. So our advertising for that is that spouses and significant <sighs> others keep stealing that particular sweater because it is so comfortable. Stealing it. Um, all right. So then I am in range, or I am in enough range to hit that uh, send on threes. Oh yeah. From that Titan. Oh yes. On a three, it has accurate. You can reroll again. Yep. Don't Dice. get a two or one. Dice jail. Nope, that's a two. No way. Uh, oh, good. Then the Ursus Claw. Into the Sentinel? Yeah. That's a four. All right. Nothing I can do about it. it. It impales him and utterly kills him. I can't save it. If it was a Titan, I could at least have a chance of a roll somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I just... Uh, <laughs> what I'm hoping for here, though, is that uh, you fall back. You run. Oh, yes. Morale test. Because you've killed half the unit. I do not run away. Oh. He doesn't care about it. Because uh, you would have ran off the board. Yeah. 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 But uh, we go into scoring. Um, and the same thing, I score another 10. What 40k faction is Solar Zillary? Basically the Imperial Guard. It's, it's the Imperial Guard before they were the Imperial Guard. Yeah. Uh, oh, so, sorry. Um, we go into the end step here, and the first thing we do is, do you regenerate any Void Shields? Oh, please, give me some Void Shields. On 4-ups, I got one of them, so I got one Void Shield left. Sure. This is actually really important for me to keep them alive, because your secondary, because we're going to round 5 here, is carnage, which means kill certain percentages of my army. Yes. If that that Titan is 330 points, which is by himself worth five points to you. Um, and now you got to fall back, double his movement. So 20 inches. Is he almost off the board? It's right there. <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> now he, make he a rail test for him. He almost fell off the board. Make a rail test. See if he keep, continues to run away. Yeah. So uh, four up. It's the Karen's force. I'm assuming. Don't threes. Wow. Space Marines rock. All right, he doesn't have the fallback one. Maybe he, he turns still around. Activate. Yep. Did you guys get inspiration from the Siege of Rax? I love the Siege of Rax. It'd be great. With this game system, we are hoping that we could do a lot more kind of storied battles. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Let's take these tokens off and let's reorder Kay. for the last turn. This is turn five. I need your score. Ten protect. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, two, four. I get four, five, six total. Yep. Six total for Nick. So he's he's scored six for yeah. Pedros. I, I get six more. So six, seven, nine, ten. So twenty points total for me. Uh, another ten points for me. Okay. What's the Very annoying tack. Should I correct? Twenty to thirty-six. Twenty to thirty-six. Uh, sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Twenty to thirty-six. Twenty to thirty-six. Okay. 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 You doing okay there? Okay. 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 Basically, so my secondary, if you weren't here from the beginning, is uh, table quarters. Basically, I get points for how many table quarters I control, up to three of them. I get five points for controlling one, 10 points for controlling two, three points for control, uh, 15 points for controlling three. So that's my biggest play. Um, and then I've got to kill, keep my guys alive. If I can do these things, I can score points. Zach, what's your secondary? Sorry? What's your secondary, Zach? Sweet, we got three. Oh, uh would be carnage, so I just need to um, kill things dead. Mm 
Da, da, da. All right, orders down over there. I'm really mad you killed that ogre, and he was gonna save my butt. Uh, Nick, is your Titan gonna survive? Nope. <laughs> well, probably actually. He'll probably fight. He'll, yeah, it's really hard to take down Titans. You need a lot of volume to be able to take down a Titan. Uh, yeah, this is beyond the the box set. This is um, box set plus a little bit. All right, I'm done. I don't know much to do. Okay, uh, so then I'm going to advance with that tank. I'm going to advance with my Kratos. Uh, they're just going to advance. I forgot to put the mark. Here's on. Here's advance. Uh, then and your I'm Titan is probably advancing. Yep. And then I've got to charge on my brave captain. Uh, yeah. All right. I also did a charge with my brave infantry, mm -hmm. and I did an advance with my sentinel. Mm -hmm. uh, everything else is marching, marching, and marching. Do you have march? Oh, you do have march. I do have march because this unit's not broken. Ah, uh, oh, I can't do that with a titan because it's broken because it's at half strength. So that will be an advance instead. Um, you don't want to give it uh, up its shots. I, I don't need to kill things at this point. I need to get in positions, and I need to... That's all I need to do, really. Right, right. Um, well, you need to have more tactical strength in a quarter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And would we tie? Uh, vehicles and super, ve super heavy vehicles are tactical strength of two. So if you kill no Kratos, and I get my uh, rhinos into one of these positions, I might so be able to... two, four, six, eight. Yeah. yeah, you get a four. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Then we have revealed everything. We go on to initiative. Yep. Do you want to go first or second? Uh, I want to go second. I got oh. a two. Oh, man. Well, I get to choose, right? Yep. Do you want to go first or second? That's why you asked me first. So you know what could screw me up most? Yep. <laughs> uh, you can have initiative. I can have initiative. I don't want initiative. I'm fine. Um, these infantry are going to hide from your Titan on the bottom floor in range of the objective. They're not going to charge. They're not going to charge. Okay. Because you just you'll just kill one. We'll be out of combat. Even if I kill both. Hmm. I get plus one don't, charging don't, you. Don't let don't let me leapfrog because uh, I could. My plan was to charge the uh, sentinel, win that combat, and then charge into the infantry. Yeah. Okay. You're right. I think you are correct. I'm going to charge the infantry. Wow. You still get that three inch pylon for blood angels. I do. Yeah. Okay. So that's them charging. Into your into your infantry. Okay. Okay. You can overwatch the Titan if you want. Uh, <laughs> on sixes with only two shots. Two shots. No. Double sixes. You kill the unit. <laughs> uh, what do what order do you have on the sentinel? Advance. Advance. Okay. Here I'll move this over a little bit. Take okay. out that so you can see it. Uh, and I have Master Technician on that. Uh, you do, so you could change the order of something within six inches, which is the Titan. Titan. So you could charge the Titan into uh, the infantry. That's what, it, that's what I'm going to do. I figured you might. Yeah, so I'm going to activate. No, no, no. Uh, that's next. Oh, right. You so have to you, activate this guy. Yep. And then he changes order this of something within six to, say, charge. Yep. So he's now got charge. Um, they both. Well, I need the charge on both. Yeah. Uh, now, you've touched me in base contact. We're now pinned. You can't move out. I cannot move out. Yeah. So uh, he just basically wastes his activation. Yeah, so they, he wastes that activation being in combat. Yep. Great. My turn. Okay. Um, I want to make it so that you can't charge me. You can't get through there, and I'm making it so that you can't get around. I can't charge the... Uh, yeah. Actually, can I charge you like this? Yeah, I'd rather charge you like this. Okay. All right. Your turn. Then I'm going to... Uh, Charge the Titan? Into the infantry? Into the infantry, yeah. You can only get one of them, so which one do you want? Uh, you really have nothing to shoot at me over there, so if I go into that one. Yeah. I could overwatch you with the Sentinel. You could. <laughs> but be utterly useless. Yep. I've got two void shields and full health. Yep. All right, where would you like to move next? Um, I don't know. You gotta do something. I know! You gotta do something. What would you like to do? You kill that. You can't kill both. I actually could kill both. 
Hmm. This is really tough. Uh, as another poll, maybe you put up is, are people understanding the rules? Is, is this helping? Has this helped people understand what Imperialis is? Are you looking to get Imperialis maybe? One, two pivots, because you yeah. do two pivots. Yep. And you have initiative, right? Yep. Okay. Your turn. Oh, they have March. Yeah. Uh, and he can't change the orders. Nope. And he can't change the orders. Nope. Cool. So I'm in your rear arc with him, and they have march, right? So I don't think there's any way of stopping you from getting onto my home objective. Kind of the point. Um, or or going to here if you abandon it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very, very tactical right now. I'm trying to, A, get on all the objectives and to control them by the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. I'm also trying to get into table quarters. So those are the mm -hmm. two things I'm trying to do to score points. Uh, Tat also needs to take the objectives, but he also scores points for killing my army. So if he can kill that Titan, it's probably worth five points to him. Uh, how far do Lumen Rusts move? Eight? Uh, Lumen Rusts, I think, are eight inches, yeah. Yeah, so, eight inches. So they could go 16. So they could go eight there, and then eight there to get onto my objective. So I can't block you. Can I block you? Two? There's no way I can block you. Yeah, that'd be Kay. very, very tough. Your, your Melta is how? What's the range of it? 14? Uh, 14, yeah. So you are going to score pretty massive on getting... Uh, is there any stipulations where you can't be uh, three inches from like the a table or a quarter edge? Nope. Uh, I'll double check, but I don't think so. Okay. I'm going to try to straddle some of those, those if I can. <laughs> I don't think one unit can, can score two. Uh, I think it's just tackle on the on the thing. Um, yeah, it has nothing to do with uh, yeah. Detachments can be in multiple quarters. Okay. It's just what models are in which uh, which thing. Uh, d detachments are there's a reason they call them detachments rather than units is because the detachments are very much more well independent mm -hmm. um, than they are. So what we're gonna do here is so you're off the objective there. Okay, so what we're going to do here... Because you would out-tactical me yeah. regardless, right? Do. I'm going to go here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to present my front-facing kill as many as you can. See what you can do. I'm going after your Titan. Yeah, that's worth the most points. It's worth the most points. Ah. And I'm leaving one in this quarter. Five are going in this quarter. Okay. <laughs> and I need four on that objective. So... Yeah, you take it away. There's yeah. nothing I can do about it. Um, move, move. Um, so then that would be that. So right now I have one tank in this quarter. Yep. To your one tank. Yep. Uh, with an advance, my rhinos can't do anything. <laughs> you have nothing. Oh, I mean, you could march him. Yep. That's why he's got the march order. So I can. He moves seven, so fourteen. Seven. Another four. Yeah. You, so you could get to that objective. So because you can't get to that objective, I'm just going to leave my rhinos there. Okay. Uh, leaving them like that with one in one quarter and one another? Yeah. Or do you want to commit to one? Oh. Okay. So uh, because I've got a Titan in there, in that quarter. Yeah. Leaving them both in this quarter doesn't really do anything. Um, and I don't think I can, actually, uh, no, unfortunately, you have done it a really good job. There's <laughs> nothing I can do because I would move off of the objective yeah. to try to get into that corner. So I'm fine to stay in there. Okay. So then I've got that one. I've got that quarter. I've got that quarter. I've got this quarter. I've got all my three quarters. So he can just stay where he is. Sure. Um, 
because I can't take that objective away from you because he's only OC2, you're OC2, can't take the objective away. Mm -hmm. um, he can't move any further, he can't see them. Mm -hmm. So it just comes down to, that's it. Okay, we're done. Okay. We're done. Shooting will decide this game. Uh, but we go into combats first. Combats first, yep, right here. Um, so you have one infantry against my two. Uh, you have initiative, so you choose. So it's the same thing. Oh, sure, right. Oh, we have to split it up. Titan on one infantry. It has to, infantry be, the yeah, on one it infantry. Has to be the Titan. That's why I moved the Titan right. in there, so that you could not... Uh... We're going to do the infantry first. Okay. So that he doesn't kill a detachment and get, get the free three-inch movement. Uh, sure. <laughs> All right, so I get two dice. You get two dice. Yep. I think you have to hire a calf because this is your leader. Uh, my Legion Command has a calf Six, of four. Six, seven. Uh, I charge you eight. Uh, plus uh, the bonus nine. So I got nine Because total. you're in base contact with each other or oh, base contact with... right, they're not in base contact. So I go and get it. So just eight then. I'll kill you. You kill this guy. All yeah. right, you killed him. Now the Titan tries to fight. I've got a cap of 10. Yes. So roll two dice, you get a 12. I rolled the seven. The only way you lose is if you roll double ones and then I roll double sixes. Yeah. 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 So squish. Just utterly squish. Yeah. Uh, Titans have an ability of plus 10. Why are the figures so small? <laughs> <laughs> Because they're tiny. <laughs> That's the game. Um, um, that is out of focus. That's been one of the hardest things about this is getting things in focus. Um, all right, you killed them all. Mm -hmm. You've taken my home objective. Because uh, this is five. Maybe. Because now we go into fighting, shooting. Yep. And this unit of Sentinels is going to shoot at your little infantry guy. And if I could kill him, yep, there's a chance. Then I take the objective because Titans only have an OC of zero. Yep. So I can do this. Yep. Sentinel, fire everything into the infantry. Okay. Actually, I don't need to do that because there's nothing I can do here. I want to do him first because I, if I can kill even one Kratos tank, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my Titan yep. wants to fire into a Kratos tank. Sounds good. Uh, it looks like you're out of 14, if you could double check I, that. I did. I, so just I the moved, missiles. I moved them specifically to be out of 14. So just the missiles, and I got to get lucky with the missiles, because they don't have any AT. Love all the, uh, the... I got four missile shots. You get your full save. Okay. What are Kratos' two up? Two ups. Did you kill one? Nope. nope. Nice try. Tried. Did what I could. All right. Crit uh, Titan's done. Your shots. Can you kill my Titan? Uh, that's, gonna... what, that's really what it comes down to. If you kill the Titan, you get a bonus, a bunch of bonus points. Mm -hmm. All right, so we will go with the the Kratos uh, cannons first because these are just AP one. <laughs> Everyone was smaller back then. Uh, so your void shield is gone. It's inflation. <laughs> yeah. Back in 30k, everything was smaller. Uh, your void shield is gone and uh, one AP one. Oh, my void shield's gone. AP one, so that means I go to a three up. If I get a one or two, the Titan dies and you get a bunch of points. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> oh no. Now Titans do explode in this game. Yep. Uh, how it does is every unit within three inches, every detachment within, every model within three inches uh, receives a hit at minus one. So it could hit the Bane Blade. Uh, it does, so a hit at minus one. Uh, so it's got a four up. It takes a takes a wound at minus one. I get a save still. Mm -hmm. um, so the save is a two up to a three. So I got a three. Yep. Sorry. So I take a damage. What that means, I have to take morale test. Yeah. Now, fortunately, he's a command take, which means it's plus one morale. But on a one or two, he runs away, which potentially could lose me table quarters. Oh, good. <laughs> he's not. It doesn't break. No morale test. Because, yeah, he would run away all the way to here, which would lose me the table quarter. But. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Let, let, me, get, let me get a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful shot here. I'm really bad. And go. Take it out. Take it out. Kaboom! Did you get that, Taiko? Yes, Explosion! I even put a real explosion. Nice. <laughs> Engine kill. Uh, then it oh. goes over to your shooting. And then my one little sentinel that I'll re reshoot this. Directed by Michael Bay. Yep. What was that movie? Uh, why am I blanking? The Ben Stiller model movie. Misses with, uh, sorry, uh, multi laser. two shots. Hits once with the multi laser. Okay. No minus. Uh, so a Legion Command has a save of four. Really? Yeah, I'm good. Frick. And then the uh, crack, or frag missile hits twice. No AP. Okay. 
Uh, does it have light? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, seven bolt. <sighs> that means I don't control the objective That's because he's OC five. He's OC two. Yeah. Or maybe three for walkers, but it doesn't matter. It's enough to take the objective away from you, which is monumentally big because that means seven points for you minus two that, points for that me. That pretty much wins me the game. That wins the game. So let's tally up the score here because there's nothing else to really matter. Can, can I? Can, can I? Can I? Oh, that would be big. Yeah, yeah. go for it. See if you can kill the Baneblade. Sakaran into Baneblade. Uh, so the heavy revolvers can't do anything. I get one last kind of shot and then I get three shots from my uh, my auto cannons. Sakaran is firing at the Baneblade. Uh, now there is no keyword on the uh, on the uh, yes. So you'd still get any AP on it. So okay. Ah! I hit once. AP one. Oh, two. Ah, uh, no, it fails. I die. You took the table corner away. All because of an exploding titan. Yep. Come on! <laughs> I'm sorry. I was doing everything to get max points, and now you've really ruined it. Uh, these are not uh, push fit. You uh, ruined it. I did ruin your. You ruined my day. I don't even want to calculate points. You win. No, I'm just joking. It's all good. <laughs> um, okay, so there's nothing else to do. I will score one table quarter, two table quarters, because you could test me here, because I've got one guy here, uh, but but this guy could test it. So, yep. so I've got the one table quarter over there mm -hmm. for five. One table quarter over here because the sentinel holds it for ten. So add 10 points for me, Tycho, plus, an plus another four for this. So add 14 points total. No, plus another seven for holding your whole objective. Yeah, so that's big. So it is, but not big enough. Not big enough, no. 17, 18, so 19 points total. So I should be at 39. 39. Okay. Right, let's just end here. Let's not calculate your points. That's fine. We'll end here. That's, that's good. Uh, I mean, does no one out there want to hear my points? If no one in chat wants to hear what my points are, <laughs> this is what I'm you get from running then, away from the Then I'm okay. <laughs> So then you get, so Tack gets seven points for holding my whole objective. Uh -huh. Four points for holding this objective. 11, Four 15. points for holding that objective. And then for your secondary, which was kill a certain percentage of my army. 85%. You, you killed 85%, especially with, with the Baneblade dying. Yeah. That Baneblade dying cinched it to 85. Probably. Which gives you another 15 points on top of that. So that is a number <laughs> that's really high. Uh, yeah, so it's 39 to more. Can, can you please just give me my 30 points? Sure. That's what it is. Okay, six, seven, seven plus 60, four. Plus uh, 66 to 39. 60. <laughs> <sighs> you almost doubled me out. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tap. Really well done. Was that was it? a great last turn. Okay, so for example, let's, let's calculate this out if it had gone right. Yep. So I kill this guy here. Now, you minus seven points. Yep. And I gained two more. Yeah, so I'm at 59 to your uh, 41. 41. Then I have a table quarter. So an extra five points. An extra five points. So your uh, 40, uh, 41 goes to 46. Then, because I still have 400 more points. You minus another five. Minus so another 10. Another 10? Because you would only kill, you, you wouldn't have killed uh, 65%. Then it would have been, now you're making me do way too much math. I would have won. I don't know if you would have won, but maybe. Because you would have minus seven? You would have minus, you would have minus 17 18. points, yep. and I would have added. Uh, I would have been at 49? I would have added uh, 12. Would we have tied? I would have won by one point. By one point? Yeah. Nice. So by you killing the Titan and the Titan exploding and killing the Bane Blade, which is enough that you killed it with Sakaran. Now, uh, what we haven't done, uh, so <laughs> Arkham, Arkham Jack, or yeah, Arkham Jack, uh, this game is supposed to be played with one more set of tiles. For a 3,000 point game. For a 3,000 point game. This is a smaller size game, so we're playing with smaller size maps. So this is a, uh, yeah, essentially a 4x4, but you are supposed to be playing on a 5x4. Five by four is the standard size. Yeah. Like this is a, this is not intended to be like a custom, like, I suppose like a really hardcore tournament game. If you want to play on a five by four or a four by six or a three by two, go for it. Yeah. Have some fun. It, it's just the book is saying that it's balanced around this. And in terms of balance, uh, as we just kind of mathed out at the end there, a uh, slightly different, different dice rolls on the last turn and means I win. Gone, yeah. You yeah. could have won. Now you would need everything to go right, uh, all over the place. But yes, you could have won. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I failed. You made all your say all your four ups. I did. You, I failed all my two ups, and then I failed all my two ups. Oh, three. There were three. Oh, ups. Okay, there were three ups. Fine. I failed three ups. I failed three three ups <laughs> to lose the game, and you you passed three four ups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we're gonna end it there, but we will take a, we're gonna take a few minutes. Just if anyone has any any questions about Imperialis, if they just have less so many questions, they want to get that off their 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 chest about it because I think it's a cool game and I want to play more. We, we are, played. We are ten minutes late for our meeting. Then we will take questions for one minute. <laughs> but lastly, before we go, we're gonna say thank you very much for watching. Thank we you so much it. for watching. It means a lot. Um, Check out our sponsor, Baron of Dice, because they have a twenty percent sale off right now off of Play on Dice as well as um, kind of other dice that they have on the store. Yep. Uh, there is also 20% off at uh, our apparel store. Yeah. Um, There's with, a lot of cool sponsors on uh, Black Friday Deals on right now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. For instance, uh, Deadly Print Studio, the maker of all this the explosion stuff, 30% off right now. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Uh, and what we, we, what we try to do for the most part is uh, have sponsors that are going to give you, uh, the fans of this game, a benefit. So we've got dice sponsors, we've got train sponsors, we've yep. got mad sponsors. Uh, so yeah, check out any of our sponsors because they have a lot of cool stuff. Cool. Well, I don't see any questions, so we're going to go there. So thank you very much. My, this has been Nicholas and... Are these the only two playable factions so far? Yes. Well, technically there's 18 f uh, factions. Yeah, so the, you can get different uh, Space Marine rules, so different bonuses and different uh, auxilio bonuses, I think. But there are like 40 different data sheets. Because, because data this sheets. is horse heresy, so it is gonna be kind of the Imperium uh, models. That's all yeah. that you really Yeah, you're not gonna get a bunch of Zetas factions, but not you yet. can't not yet. have them in later. So we're gonna end it there. Uh, as I said before, my name's Nick, and this has been... Tack? Yep, that, that's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Uh, play on. Play on. And then.